Welcome back to episode 71 of the Jiu Jitsu Dummies <laughs> podcast. We are sponsored by Black Belt Digital Marketing. Anything you need to build your business, we got website design, Google ads, graphic design, they can help with anything. Check them out at Black Belt Digital Marketing on Instagram or their website, bbdigitalmarketing.com. Request a free online review of your online presence today. All right. Nobody knows. Shout that, out. Uh, What's up? Nobody knows you screwed it up the one time. Thank you, Bo. You're welcome. You guys remember? <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Bo. Nobody marketing. Shout out to our friend George, George Hernandez at Hernandez Claims. Woo. He's a public adjuster who can help settle a commercial or residential insurance claim on your behalf. Call George Hernandez today and let the professionals help you get the most compensation from your insurance company. Check him out at Hernandez Claims on Instagram or visit them online at HernandezClaims.com. He is now licensed in Florida and Texas. And Texas. Tonight, right before hurricane season, so he's looking well, for a good season. Well, I mean, season. nobody wants natural disasters to happen, but, but they do. But, but they do. Here in Florida. And guess who built this website? Who? BBDigitalMarketing.com. Oh, got it. <laughs> BB Digital Marketing. All right, let's not forget Sean and the crew over at Flow and Roll. Hands down, the best custom geese and no gi gear in the business. You use them, right? <laughs> Maybe you should give me yeah. some gear. You know what I mean? I'll wear it. I, you know, I just got my first Flow and Roll gi. All right. I just wore it for the first time. Did you I, give me one? Uh, those were flow. flow kimonos that we won way back oh, at an event. Okay, okay, and then yeah, okay. we, I gave you the yeah. blue one. Yeah. I'm wearing the shirt. I had, we, we, he gave us, I, I took uh, Miguel's back so that we could put patches on him. So we have to put the, he didn't, take, got, we my, have he didn't take my back. No, no, no. That's what he, he just didn't said. Take my back. That's what he I just said. I took his back. back so that I could put the Jiu Jitsu Dummies key. patches on it. Not this back. So he's going to have his blue one pretty soon. I'm going to, I wore my white one. Yeah, I saw that. You I got had a white belt tears. I on had it. a white belt bleed all over me. He yep. had braces and yeah, he yeah. Like, he like sorry, <laughs> getting like he he's is. He like sorry, that's, a, sorry, that's an sorry. extra grip if you think about it. The teeth. You want to yeah. know what's funny is yeah. I took the picture, I did the selfie of the blood. Yeah, that's actually totally guy, by the accident. Guy the guy being, that's standing over my shoulder is the guy. He looks like John a little bit. Yeah, he's I thought a new guy. Like, yeah, new guy. Huh? I think he got uh, you were highlight really. Felipe him? got like. I hope he doesn't mind me saying he got like 15 new signups in the last two weeks. Yeah. Yesterday at uh, our school, um, my wife came home from bringing the kids and such. And she was like, there was like 30 kids in the class. Yeah. At yeah. Weston. Yeah. Yeah. Things are getting back to normal. Kids are going to be, they got what, uh, Easter vacation coming. So like That's people right. sign up because they, they want the after school, after school program. Uh, and then you got summer, summer coming. So like people so getting ready. Let's see if it drops yeah. off like uh, like February at all gyms. No, it drops no off you know December. what? It drops off like no, no, no. before, I mean, thanks, I mean, like before Thanksgiving, gyms, right? Like people were like do workouts. Yeah, but I'm saying you know they come back for January for their for their New Year's resolution and then they quit like gotcha. Feb. So Maybe you need to talk to Sean. Yeah. We'll see what okay. we can do. Talk into the mic. Yeah, I know you got your thing. I do. You got to check thing. out his stuff. His right. stuff is amazing. Let's talk. Like best Sean. best rash guards hands down. I judge my rash guards on how quickly you get the little fuzzies, the little ball, right? You, every, mm -hmm. Do you have that like on almost every rash guard? It balls up. You Even the ones balls? I gave you, I know it balls up, right? You yeah. get little balls in your... Not his. <laughs> <laughs> from the rash guard. Thank you, You get little balls. Thank hey, you. Thanks, I'm trying to sell him on flow and roll. <laughs> hey, we'll see. You know, But for real, it's like uh, the best rash guard. And, and I love like the no, the no gi are like a little shorter. The shorts are a little shorter. Yeah. It's not like the I like basketball the shorts. I like the inseam. Yeah. It's good stuff. We got to hook you up. So, right, again, so good. shout out to Sean and the crew at Flow and Roll. Check them out on Instagram at flow underscore and underscore and roll underscore roll. And uh, check out all their custom designs. You can see all that the all the different academies that they work with. He does amazing design. Take your logo, integrate it with his in some cases, and just really pump out some really good, good stuff. Um, we're going to be doing a podcast rash guard. I just kind of gave him the, like what I wanted. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, can't, I don't want to say it yet. It's going to be a really cool rash guard. It's mostly for our guests. Like we give yeah. a swag back to our guests. So you'll be getting Hello, a little something. Hello, where's my rash guard at? You're going to have, yeah, a, have, a, have, have a say something. Story. We're going to have a rash guard. We did a, a custom keychain with our logo. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, I've got mugs. We do a sticker. And then Flow and Roll does our t-shirts now. So he does a podcast oh, tee as well. So nice. the swag bag is, then it'll also come in a bag, but that's going to be last. So it'll be a bag, t-shirt, rash guard, mug, oh, sticker, keychain. That's what he's going to be getting. He's going to be getting a t-shirt. I want to get another rash guard. If I know you got a rash guard, we can get you another rash guard. And the G string. <laughs> the keychains will be here like in three weeks. I, I want the G string. So, 
<laughs> you want the what? The, the, the G, G string? G yeah. The G string? Yep. Yeah. You said G string. Yeah. Did I say G string? What did I say? Key string. Could you imagine having a whale tail hanging out while you're rolling? Did I say G string? A whale tail. That's the one when the G string hangs out. So check that out. So we're going to be doing all that stuff with them. We're also like we're moving slowly but surely the traffic for our shop. Is just going to be to his page, to his website with our stuff. So we're going to eliminate our store and everything. So integrated. So, well, I, ha- yeah. I don't do that. Like, I don't take that stuff lightly. Like, his stuff is way better than the stuff that I'm sending out right now, which is, I like my stuff, but, like, the quality of the, especially the rash guards is just, like, it, it blows ours away. Right. So the check grass, them out. The grass is greener. At flowandroll.com. And, again, on Instagram, at flow underscore and underscore roll on IG. Uh, Sean also asked me to shout out Manny Alves and Team Alves Academy up in Sarasota, Florida. So what's up? What's up? And Samantha you. at American Top Team. It's at ATT Black Box with two X's in Kissimmee, Florida. So what's up, guys? Your orders are on their way soon. All right. Uh, I am Milton Campus, Brown Belt, training out of South Florida. You can check me out on IG at, at Uncle Milty BJJ, and I handle the podcast handle. That's just new, new, but I'm new, built. I remember new. when you were a blue belt. What's that? I remember when you were a blue belt. I remember when you used to kick my ass when you were <laughs> I, I, I He would show up and I, I called him a spider monkey from the beginning. I'm yeah. like, he's like a fucking spider monkey. He's here and then he's there and then he's like, what the, f-, you know? That's all the memories that I have is just me getting my ass kicked by everybody in his gym. Yeah. That's the only memory I have. Yeah. <laughs> actually. He, I would, my first gym, Pezzo. he he used to come to the first gym I trained at and- hey. Do you teach that shin thing from like top half guard where you like just dig yeah, your it. shin into other people's shins? It's not digging. You just you just knee slide over the shin. That's the best way to pass half guard. No, no, not to pass. Game. It's just like they just keep it there sometimes. No, nah, who does just that? To, I don't teach I'm that. To, okay. My guys do that? Mm-hmm. Nah. <laughs> okay. You should I wouldn't put it past that. them. Yeah, I, know. I would not put it past them. <laughs> So shout out to Britt Tavar. She's our booking manager and our sponsorship coordinator. She's handling like Brit. all the, the giveaways on Brit. the uh, that we're doing on IG now. So got, got a little help. So thank you, Britt. You're doing an awesome job. We got Bo behind the camera. Hey, Bo. Yo. We got Miguel riding shotgun. Hey, everybody. We got Stephanie in the audience. Hi. <laughs> hey. Stephanie's my and manager. And today we have Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt. Yeah. Owner of A and M Jiu Jitsu in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Social media influencer. Boom. Marine veteran. Ah. Hey. And he's even a hand model. A hand model. Hand model. Look at that. I just threw that model. one in. Dude, you nah, do, bro. got some nice, nice knuckles for a black belt. Big. Drew. It's because I train no geese. Drew oh, Phoenix. S- Welcome yes, back, brother. Hey, it's nice How to be here. Now you. Where's your your crutch? You hobbled, bro, you bro, hobbled in here today. Well, you so, put me out there like let's that. talk about that first. Let's talk about that beating up on them white belts, right? No, it was a blue belt right. this time. <laughs> white belt, white belt, teach your white belt heel hooks. Let's go. What yeah, happened? Do, do that. Because oh, white belt oh, caught oh. you? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Is it blue belt? Yeah. yeah. See, that's told you. Because look, uh, you know, I've been studying leg locks for a long time and I would just like to test myself, get really, let somebody get really deep in there. And I just, did you, you really, know, is that really what happened or is, no, this is what happened. Yeah. I'm telling you straight up. You just slipped in the shower? I looked at him. Nah, nah, Stephanie got mad at me. <laughs> Stephanie got mad at me and she put me in the heel. I see you do this on a video. Right. So I, he got in really deep and you know what I did. I looked at him and I was like, what are you going to do besides piss me off right now? So just so you know, I'm going to cut that segment when you said his, I'm going to start at he got really deep. And I'm going to put that out on TikTok and just like do some type of review. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I like it. I like it. I you know, I, I like that, right? Because what are they going to do? People are going to come hating and they're going to come talking shit and this is going to happen. The interactions Listen, are going to go up. What'd you and say? Then what'd you say? We get no, more say no, I was just saying, so you put yourself in a precarious situation on purpose. Bad publicity. Yeah. Right. To, good, to, yeah. work out of it. <laughs> to work out of it, yeah. and it didn't work out. No, it didn't work out. Okay, no, because uh, I'm I, guilty I, of that too, sir. I zigged when I was supposed to zag. Yep, mm-hmm. and my knee went one way, and then my leg went the other, oh. and it just my patella popped out of place. Oops. And then I looked, at, then I looked okay. down at it, and then it popped back into place. And then from that, I. Uh, Man, it, I couldn't. Your, your fault? Do you, do you feel like it was no, your fault? I know or was it, it was my is there fault. Any fault? Was there any? No, there's any no blame? fault on that guy at all. Yeah, it's not like he ripped it or anything. No, he had it. He had a nice grip, 
And I zigged when I was supposed to zag. Yeah. You know, it was like, all right, well, I, I turned this way when I was probably supposed to turn that way. And yeah. my patella popped out and then it popped I'm back so, in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, right? I'm, I'm, super, I'm super sorry. No, nah, but that's 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 me. That Yeah, that's just that's just what I did. And so I you injured. are, I mean, there's, you know, online. It, it's going away slowly but surely. But the whole argument about at what point you should be teaching really anything below the waist. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm in an I'm in an old school gym. It was like not heard you, ain't gonna, you ain't gonna <laughs> well, around heel hooks in the gi. Oh no no no! no, 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 no. He doesn't train at my gym no more. No 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 no! That's a different gym. That's a different gym. We're we're a little bit old school. I don't. There's no like nobody's walking around going, oh, you're not a brown belt. You can't do that. We're we're doing a little bit more kind of leg stuff, but not as advanced as you're doing. Yeah, and and showing it to everybody because now you know coaches are realizing like, oh, the, every event is now allowing certain things at certain levels like you just got it you have to know yeah you know for right you you blew out your knee at an event i got heel hooked at a the, the guy was a, a dick the yeah. guy the guy did something he wasn't supposed and to I, do and, and i was defending for a foot lock which yeah. i thought he was going for and i was completely he fine went for a it. heel hook at, at blue belt no he ripped it but at, at blue belt yeah and i don't was that what, the match. I, I, we don't have to call and out and the, the he, organization he defended incorrectly yeah, hundred. I did. Yeah, I didn't even think that I was even remotely close to being because in danger. You, because we don't, we don't, we don't. I was didn't like, learn there's that. no way he's gonna. Because when you boot, uh, some people don't know is like when you boot, you're giving me a bigger target to. When you say you boot, when you push it all the way through, yeah. yeah. When you push it and then extend your and then flex it, your your toes up, yeah. I, no, you're giving me uh, a bigger target because I just have to grab your Achilles toes and out. I, I do yeah. the elbow strike. Okay. You're giving me a bigger target. So right, when traditionally, I, when, I, when like, I boot, it's always toes out. So though. if it was an if it was an ankle lock, up? like when you boot, you always point your toes out. Yeah, but because then, if I point it in, now you really have a really big target. But I mean, depends on the heel hook. But still, well, like you should I be pointing do it on your. It. Okay, so just just so you know, you should be pointing your toes. Ballerina toes, heel to the ass. I'm not gonna argue with you. I don't know no, shit. I'm not saying you're arguing with me. So right. the thing is, at that me. time, you weren't <laughs> learning the defense. What's that? You didn't learn the defense oh, not when you were in that situation. No. But after that, we started to, because you were still training with us we've, at that we've, time. We've been learning. And then we, we started, you know, yeah. talking about it a little bit more. At that time, we were learning. I was still a purple belt. Life. I was still a purple belt. So, Excuse you know, again, me. it's supposed to be, you know, I guess traditionally, right, it was like brown belt. Right? Brown yeah. belt and above. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. Well, Sophia has a killer X card, which is great entry. Sophia has killer everything. That's yeah. why yeah. she's <laughs> multiple time world champion. Yeah. yeah she exactly. won a, she, she, won she disciplined recently. me when I was a blue belt. Did y'all know that? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, she, she, I don't know if she knew that she did it, but she, she helped me put my ego in check because we were rolling. I was blue belt and I jump on her back and, you know, I'm thinking like, oh shit, I took a black belt's back. Right. But the second, like I might put my hooks in, mm -hmm. I crossed my legs for a second and then her, her foot came up and yeah. she did that little ankle lock. Yeah. And I was like, ah, then. I yeah, Felipe's off. good with that too, man. You can't, don't you, his don't slack. But you see now, trap. just so everybody knows, all you have to do is just stiff arm the head, right? With one hand or two hands, and then they can't do it. Like they have to forward? extend, yeah. Okay. They have to extend their hips. Yeah. Is it too late though sometimes when it's already no, in? Like no, if it's already no, in and you're no, like, no. like, oh wow, this is hurting. I need to push the, just you know. do this. Yeah. And they'll never be able to, because you have yeah. to, you have to extend the hips. Because it's not right. That's not one of those that's right away. It's just like, oh, this is stiff hurting. It can be, but what are you talking about? You stiff arm them while they have your back no no you have their you're back, on you're their back. The back of their headphones oh. and your your feet are crossed yeah and then you just stiff on the back of their now head. so you put out a video recently where you talked about because people called you out on crossing your legs or somebody just commented about you crossing yeah, your legs a, but then you a, act you, you talked about like grabbing you had the arm okay you so had the arm and it was high up yeah the, so the, look john Danaher says it, that's jujitsu jesus yeah. man like you know he so oh <laughs> <laughs> so when you have the back Right. If you cross it in the middle and they do that little foot lock thing, you just push the back of the head. Mm -hmm. But if you cross it up here by the hip, unless it's kind of towards, towards the outside. If yeah, you're crossing them, they're, they're not, they're not going to really do yeah. anything, especially if you have the arm. Because like, when I when I get somebody's back, I'm more comfortable with one foot on the hip yeah. than I am even just putting the hooks in. Yeah, I feel like I can. Hooks control are for them. I, what'd you hooks, go, are what'd you hooks are for yeah, points, yeah. and then okay. the hips are for right, control. So in a regular, I like to keep a foot on the hip. Yeah, and because I also do like the body lock. So if yeah. you know, I, I enjoy getting the body lock on, but I like to control with that foot. Yeah, and if I have to take that body lock off again, I you know I kind of leave it open for to, to get lock. that foot on the hip. Body yeah, that's me. Yeah, for sure. I'm not a black belt. 
Dude, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. <laughs> no, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. But I like yeah. I like the straight jacket system that Don, John Tanner teaches. And yeah, I studied a do lot. You, what, do you have you do you have like the his whole instructional? Are yeah, you like literally following? Yeah, some of that you learn. Yeah, yeah. So I remember you told me it's been a long time, and some of the listeners that we have now probably don't know. But you had you had that match with was it Ruben? Was it, uh, uh, Mello. Mello? You had that match with Mello, and yeah. it was like foot exchanges. But no. did he outfoot you? Did he outfoot? I didn't know foot locks at the time. It's but he, after but we, he was throwing. Was yeah, he, yeah, right. I did something in that match that I didn't know that was good. Mm-hmm. But uh, he had he had got me in, in standard Ashigarami. So tell everybody his name. Tony, Tony Mello. Mello. Yeah, shout out to Tony Mello and his uh, new school Mortalis Jiu Jitsu. They're doing great things down there. Where's he located? Uh, deep down south in Miami, close to the Miami Zoo. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, I went up there the other day. Yeah, awesome. Like, He's that, a dick. That, but. That's like one. <laughs> this school is good. That's like one seventy eight Street, man. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think it's one forty eight. One forty eight, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's right off the turn. But break. then you started. You started doing a lot of. He start, he's the guy that started teaching you. Yeah, because like, during our match, he had Ashigarami, he had his foot on my hip, and I pushed it down. I sat on top of it. So when he when he went for the heel hook, he couldn't finish it. Yeah. Right? But it it hurt. Like, I, like if, you watch, if you watch the match, I put my hand up because I was like, oh, he's about to rip it off. But for some reason, I didn't tap, and he did, he couldn't finish it. And then I ended up coming up and passing, but then I think he got me in another one, and I got out of that somehow. And then he tried to triangle me, and I got out of that somehow. And, uh, you know. Not our best. But now, but that but he taught also, me footlocks. I was taking privates with him for a while. That's what I was gonna say. You, you, it changed your game. Oh, it completely. changed how you train. Completely. Yeah, because my school at the time, everybody kept getting destroyed by uh, leg lockers. So I'm like, okay, well, I want to learn leg locks so I could bring it back to the school so that people could learn and stop getting footlocked. And then out came my foot fetish. And you, <laughs> and and we've talked about you're you're an advocate for teaching white belts. Yeah. Skill hooks. But like, okay, so if, if I, I, I don't question you scale, anymore, but in the beginning I used to be like, really? And now I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I, I around two stripes, like when you, you know, you got a solid foundation of, of passing. It's not day one stuff. Yeah, it's not day one stuff. Even though, right, I'm, I am guilty <laughs> of that. <laughs> Uh-oh. <Truth laughs> so comes your out. dad actually, I was, like one of his first classes and I was teaching heel hooks. and Yeah. But whatever. There's outliers Jeez. everywhere. You don't know. I like uh, the thing you said uh, not too long ago about like sometimes it's just like, oh, it was in another podcast maybe where you said, um, I like it. Sometimes I come into class and I just tell them to roll before I start teaching to get it out. Yeah. Like they, like I just flow roll. Yeah. Yeah. Like good. first thing. So I tell them, you know, catch and release. Don't go too hard. And I'm, I'm walking around yelling at them like, stop going so hard. Like, really? Who yeah. comes hard? Like not even warmed up. You got some Bro, have savages. you not stepped the foot girls. on the jiu-jitsu mat? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess there are some people, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to roll. I feel like, like they're easy to deal with, though, because they're not really warmed up. Nah, bro, it doesn't mm. worry. Everybody wants nah, to roll. that's hard. like an open mat on a Saturday. Yeah. You know? You know, you're excited to roll. and I take the first two easy, always. But, I mean, no. my young MMA Depends. guys, like, they want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Step one. Step one. Let's Close go. I mean, I would be me. one of those guys, too, so. That's close guard for me all day, then. Yeah. Yeah, I even bet. you know Felipe on the at the open mats, he started doing like we drill now. You got to earn the open mat. He calls it, yeah, you got to pay yeah. for it. But we didn't always do that. But no. I think I think that was part of it. It was like you go in there, you're kind of you're cold. Mm-hmm. You get hurt more often. Nobody wants. Not warms everybody up. stretches on their own. Yeah. I do, and you know, and then you wind up you know people going hard. I know he even gets pissed off when people come late. It's an open mat. It's supposed to be two hours, but we really probably go for an hour, hour and fifteen. And he really gets mad when like somebody shows up late and we've done the warm-ups and then they come and roll really hard with everybody. So yeah, you must hate all your purple belts. What's that? You must hate all the purple belts. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we only have one. <laughs> we only have one that that, that no that, that skips the warm ups. Uh <laughs> yeah. We only have one. I know exactly it's the same guy. It's funny. Hey, mm-hmm. you wanna know what I just thought about? The no. other day I was in traffic. I was driving and uh or not driving because I was in traffic and and I thought about Omar. Right. So like nobody knows what he does. He drives vintage oh. BMWs. He's slender. He does martial arts. He's pretty much the transporter. <laughs> okay. That's Ooh, interesting. People know. I needed to tell you that. Is he driving an Audi? Yeah, I get and he got the no, like, it's, ball. No, it's no, he drives a BMW oh, seven BMW. series in the first one. Come on, man. Oh, you're going all. He's just Omar's like. There's only one. You see this guy Omar, and you'd be like, you know, it's like I guess it's 
for jujitsu guys, for somebody from the outside, they look at him and go like, he's charismatic. Though, yeah. Like, right? yeah, this guy's a freaking like, you know, a little thin. Not, he's like one of the strongest guys in that fight. He's like one of my hardest roles. Yeah. He's absolutely one of my yeah, hardest roles. And I outweigh him, what easily, what okay, 50, you're, you're 50 just, pounds? You're just leaning into my Jason Statham yeah, thing no, no, that no, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm going yeah. with it. I said, I, I, I get it. But, you know, nobody knows what the hell he looks like, so I'm going to have to put a picture of us. Just uh, Transporter you know? 1. We'll put Omar next to... And then imagine he was born in, like, Bolivia or Venezuela or something like that. And then there you go. You're strange, man. Boom. You had, like, the strangest references, bro. What are you talking about? You just... Jason Statham. (laughs) (laughs) You walked in before. What was he showing? What video was he showing you? Uh, You said something. He quoted some obscure movie. (laughs) And his references are just like... Brokeback Mouch. (laughs) Brokeback Mouch. Not the... Poha. (laughs) Poha. So, I wanted to talk about something in... The news right now, it's not Ukraine. Cain Velasquez. Free Cain Velasquez. Next question. How fucking crazy is that? Do you see? If, it's not you that know. crazy if it's true. But it I went from it Dana went from like I mean, as the as the information came out, now it's like I want to hear some more. But you I'm heard sorry. what you heard what Dana said. Okay. Uh, no. What did I Dana say? Dana, for Dana, a moment. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking? Uh, about? So Google so it. Grab your phone. Yeah, Google Cain Velasquez. Dana Dana made a public statement. On it. And he's, this is just a part of it. I'm, and I'm probably paraphrasing, but he goes, uh, This is something that every father would do. Cain mm-hmm. just did it. The thing is, I mean, though, it's, it's he something did it that like, every father says they would do yeah, if that ever yeah. happened. Yeah. And, but, and then he goes, And Cain did, did it. He just, yeah. his execution, though, was like, he thought he was like in Grand Theft Auto or some shit. Yeah, but like what's he, the lesson? Like, he, I think, but from what I understand, he fired from a vehicle, right? Yeah. yeah. And he shot the wrong person. Yeah. And he shot, I he shot the another person in that other vehicle. Yeah. In the yeah. other vehicle. Yeah. So now, yeah. So you no, know, in the, the same vehicle. You know the weapon safety a, rules, man. Know your, know your yeah. target and what lies beyond. Exactly. But, you know, lesson number one is don't hang out with pedophiles. True. Yeah. For what? The, da- the dad of the pedophile? Yeah. No, I, I got that. I, I got look, that. I, I think every one of us would go to jail for... Would... For go damn to, sure. Like, yeah. yeah. Like I would, 100%. I, but, I, yeah. you know, I don't... You know, I don't know if I would have shot the guy who would want to beat the shit out of him, choke him. Yeah, you know, make him suffer. Last, but yeah, you know, sure, make okay. him suffer. Um, but, before I, yeah. before I killed him. What if yeah, he had a good me. guard though? Hmm? Hard to pass. That's Kane fucking Velasquez, bro. True, he's got good cardio. World champion. Yeah. WWE it's, wrestler. It's been a while. Yeah. You know. Uh, just joking, beat the man. Shit out yeah, I know. Yeah, he would. Yeah. <laughs> but damn, uh, like I, I wonder, like what was going through Kane's head, like to do that, like in the car. Fury. Like, what did you like? Just drive by. Yeah, you got to like, be careful with the premeditation side of it. Like, yeah. he can get away with it passion. if he should say, "Yeah, like a crime of passion." You know, if it was planned out, I knew where I was going to be well, the, from the day shot before. The guy. Documented, yeah. documented that, head that, injuries. That he shot the yeah, no, I, he's going to jail. He's going to go to jail because yeah. if he shot the, the the right guy, he you know he might not go to jail for a really long time. Yeah. But he's going to go to jail for something. I hope I mean, Dana pays for his he, lawyers. That would be that, that would, would be amazing. awesome. Dana, you heard that? Yeah. Pay for his lawyers. Bro. Pay for that his would, lawyers. Dana. That would be, oh, yes. Dana. That that would be amazing. Dana. I see. Now I'm I'm on here right yeah. now. Cain Velasquez allegedly shot a man that had recently been charged with molesting a relative. Ooh. His daughter. That's probably an older article. Now it's his. It yeah, was his yeah, daughter. It was his daughter. And oh. I saw a hundred. I thought, I thought it was he, like a, was like a relative. A hundred times it said something about a hundred. I saw a hundred times. Go to a more recent article and tell me. But yeah, that he raped, oh, raped her, had sex with her. Oh, back to my first. Thing. I don't know. I don't know how old, how, how old his daughter. Do you, does anybody know? I don't I know. Fourteen. Okay. I from what I understand, from you know, look, I might be citing a post oh, no, or something. Like oh, I would have got. Times. I would have got out of the car that I shot in and walked up to it and shot all yeah. of it. If that's yeah. the truth. Listen, yeah. honestly, I can't blame a guy. Father of daughters, that. I would. My I would daughter, do it. I would do it myself. I would do it too. Yeah. I'm. I'm going down in a blaze of glory for my daughter. For sure. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Well, that's what we're saying. That dude's getting crazy everybody's shit. prison snacks. <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Yeah, they just gotta give you, right? The, the, the oddest statements. I love it. He's this is my. Is he's, making, he's he's TikTok famous. You know he's TikTok famous. He should he's, be. He's TikTok yeah, famous. He and he don't even have a TikTok. What yes, was that old? Hey, what was that old HBO show? Where it was all the prisoners and it oh, was like scared cool, straight, scared. bro. Oh, Oz. Oz. Oh, Oz. 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 That's right. Great if he was in Oz, it's, it's the only person between that and then scared straight. That's like my person. You want to know something? Culture. When I saw it, one of my like in the back of my mind, one of my first things like, oh wow, he's gonna be running that jail. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. He's, he's gonna, gonna have an MMA program. 
Yeah. <laughs> Listen, all jokes is oh, I hope the, that he I hope that, that. <laughs> I hope that he goes to jail for as little yeah. of time as possible. How long has he been in? Does anybody know? It just happened. This just happened. Time served. Yeah. Come on. Let's let's get this shit. Ugh, I don't know. It, it, that, if he was... shot the right guy, it would have been it now you shot and, and I and, but if and it's if everyone's daughter, alive, everyone's alive, pass. right? Everyone's yeah. alive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he didn't murder, it was attempted murder. So if he would have shot the right guy and killed him, that's just hold on, hold on. Now, I don't know if they told you guys it's an army. That's oh. a direct of reflection of your leadership, right? Right. He shot the dad, right? Yep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right you know what I mean? I don't know. You know, I don't know. The man, the man could be a saint. I see your point. You know, the man could be a saint. The man could be a saint. The man could be a saint. Yeah. It's that's a hard one. It's a crime of passion, and that's the problem. A crime of passion to me is legitimate if. Like but he, he shot, said, the, he shot wrong the wrong guy. In person. That's why we're talking. But it was talking, his dad. The way we are. So it's it's kind of fucked up because I see it the way Drew sees it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, I, listen, I really you're do. again, crime of passion. You're not thinking straight. But if he was thinking straight, it would have been like, seek him out. Make sure you're, you know, you know. Seek out clothes with him. Yeah. Destroy. Oh, you mean lock Double him tap. lock him down and then uh, call the cops? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm to saying to if you're going to shoot somebody, make sure you know who you're shooting and you should have yeah. shot the right person. No, if you would have shot I, the know. right person, crime of passion, you get out of jail probably more quickly. You know, it'd still be maybe go down from attempted murder to like a manslaughter, you know. Mm -hmm. But now he's, you know, you shoot the wrong person. What if he, you know, yeah. again, what if he shot another kid? What, you know, you're yeah, going yeah. to avenge your, your child and then you kill a kid? Like we can't have everybody, we can't make. He can't be, um, like they they could take it easy on him, but they can't let him get just get away with it because now you're gonna have like they vigilantes can't all over the place. Villainize him, but you also can't make him a hero. Yeah, well, yeah. he's already a hero. He's well, a hero yeah, to every fucking guy. If, if that's yeah. the case, but then if that his, goes, she was she was raped that many times or, or at once or a hundred times, if that's really the case, every father's like what Dana what you said Dana White said, which every father's like good. Yeah, and yep. may, and may See, that be a lesson to anybody who tries to ever fucking touch my See, one of my daughters, yeah. right? No, I don't like. I don't or, like. When, hey, 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 I just want to say, also sons. I don't like. like just I don't, don't like touch when, kids. Uh, when they do this with the law, where they set a precedent based on one case, so yeah, case, it's case by case, so it shouldn't be. It shouldn't make a difference. You know what I mean? This guy did this. He he. His intention was correct. It's understood. It was the father. The, you know, okay. You know, not even a short sentence. You give him parole. Yeah, yeah, you just get mm. literally probation. Uh, uh, well, probation I'm, for I'm not saying he should. No, I just, no, I'm, I'm just, saying. I'm not defending but, the system. I'm not saying this. he should go to my, jail. What I'm saying is my, like it's going to be hard to keep him out of jail. Yeah, the point it's going to be real hard facts, to keep him yeah. out of jail. It the is. point yeah. is this: is that that he shouldn't he shouldn't get jail time for this, but it shouldn't set a precedent for other cases because each case is totally different. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but you still but you still have people that are going to go. You know, because somebody kills somebody else and hits the wrong person that goes, yeah, but Kane, but Kane, but Kane. You know, why don't I get the break? Yeah. yeah. And you know what it is? It's because he's actually a, a star. That's the other side of he it. He was making that I don't know. He's still in WWE. He was making that WWE came, money. I think he went into he went to Mes Mexico. Oh, he yeah. was doing Luchador. Like the But he went to WWE for a little bit. Like he did some stuff there and then WWE. he went to, to Mexico Libre. and Yeah, Lucha Libre, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Nacho Libre. Nacho yeah. Yeah. Nacho Libre. <laughs> <laughs> Big X. So what about let, let's talk about this. I know this is, you know, hey, listen, that's MMA, so that's in our world, but I've got two veterans here. What do you think about Earth. what's going on with you, Ukraine right now? War is a racket. Next question. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's I a talk show, but we got we to go like this. I we got to extend the time. The war is a racket. <laughs> it is. So I, I, it's always the I, same. I agree. It's I've been saying it's always I, the same. You know, like, Listen, I'm a conspiracy theorist, so don't. You know. you're, you're drawing that at me that you're a conspiracy theorist? <laughs> well, you're the one who gets hard on me about that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're arguing about who Q is before the show. So. We weren't arguing. We were just talking about it. Well, uh, I, mean, I was just saying that CNN in 2014 uh, 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 uh. spoke about Q, and they knew it was top level NSA. Then nobody knew anything. Six years nobody later, knows anything no, no, no. about who it is. No, CNN knew in 2014. No. It's not a secret. All right. So, what do you guys think about Ukraine? <laughs> what do you think about Ukraine, <laughs> veteran? Oh, me? Yeah. Eh? Thoughts? I anything? I, don't I mean, know. what? Who? Like, we could be. At, we're not I'm there. like telling my wife, like, we got to go to BJ's and load what, up on what everything. I, what do I think? <laughs> we need to. If, if toilet paper was was off, the, was running, you know, flying <laughs> off the shelves before. What yeah. about now? Like, I need my toilet Maybe paper. I need uh, water. It's actually Let's get soap. Buy flour. Like, like everything, canned food. I would say buy flour. I'm like, are we like on the midst of Ukraine, a nuclear war? Buy Ukraine, flour. Ukraine, no flour or any wheat products, because Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus all put together, I think provide a quarter or a fifth of all of the world's uh, wheat exports. How'd you know that, uh, nerd? 
Exactly. Because that's what I look at. I, I, I don't, I'm just like you. It's a racket, right? Like I don't, I don't follow the war. I follow the money. And then I, I don't, the how do we go from oil to wheat? What do you mean oil? Well, I mean, Russia burns a lot of coal and then, and then Belarus and Russia and, and, and uh, Ukraine uh, are one of the largest providers of potash, which you need to use in fertilizer. So fertilizer yeah, prices are going to go up. Wheat prices that's are going to go up. Did you see? It I, also uh, goes uh, in concrete, potash. On the way down, on the way, on the ride down, I listened to the radio at the, like, when I got close. I thought you listened listening to Star Wars I was, music. I, I did. So that's, when I got close, I put on the radio. And they were talking about, like, stores are taking, like, vodka off the shelves, like Russian vodka off the shelves. <laughs> that's so stupid. Like, Harley's not, like, delivering, like, they're, like uh, companies aren't shipping to Russia. These like, are fake sanctions. The Gap or something, and, like, Harley Davidson, like, all these companies are. Dude, the petrol dollar is inherently tied. To, Vladimir, Vladimir, to Russia. they have no more stories. Mm. What yeah. do I do? <laughs> it's just, just follow the money. It's not that hard. Yeah, right. I mean, it's, War you know, look, right. again, I got two veterans oh, here, so, so, so I'm like... Yeah, and then if you look at uh, government contractors, you know, you look at Boeing, you look at uh, Boston Dynamics, you look at any of these type of companies, all their stocks is, are soaring right yeah, now. Yeah, invest in their stock. Yeah. You want to make some money. That's what I think about it. It's war is a record. Listen, that's what war is about. Poor people are going to die and rich people are going to make money. Yeah. It's it's sad. It's it's profiteering. It's just sad. It's all profiteering. It's sad, bro. Okay, let's talk about jujitsu. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. How's the gym going, bro? You growing? Yeah, we're growing. Yeah? Yes, sir. That's good, man. We're growing. Tell us about the gym. Tell everybody where they can find you. At A&M Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, yeah. Or A&M BJJ on all the platforms. Your address is... So people in South Florida... We're in Fort Lauderdale. No, they know I think that huge building. Oh, Extreme Action Park. Like you're right there. In that same, yeah, like that building off to... Yeah, uh, right off that? of like the north side of that building. Go yeah. karting yeah. and then right. jujitsu. Go yeah, karting and jujitsu. And, you know, and even more like jujitsu people know, jujitsu people know that Arte Suave does a lot of their events back there. Oh, and, Arte and Suave the is great because They like we fucking just, own that place back there. Yeah. Not own it literally, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Art is always cool. That, and Flow and Roll is always there, and you should talk to too. Sean from Flow and Roll. I am going to talk to yeah. Sean from Flow and Roll. But it's cool so because like we had our gym is right there, so we just warm up on our own mats, and then we just hop Go in and back. pop out. Yeah, yeah. And then I have I enjoy like kicking people out of my gym because they're like yeah. You see, they think, they, they think they're going to warm up there. Yeah, and I'm like ah. Like if I yeah. don't know you, you're not warming <laughs> yeah. up in my gym. Yeah. Nice. Maybe I should start trying. I see you there because I've actually gone a few times. Like I had to like pick up something from Sean or say hello, and like you've been like in the. You've been like in the zone, so like I've said hello, but like yeah, because you know like a little coach bit, my, like yeah, yeah, you're doing your thing. My guys, I'm yelling. I yeah. never come home with a with a regular voice. It's always like ah, yeah, I always lose it. You remind. I've seen you. Co- I've seen like some video you coach, and I've seen you there. Yeah, you definitely remind me. I mean, lots of coaches scream, but Kenny, Kenny was like that. Like, yeah, come out of there with like, like a horse, like fucking yelling on the in edge a Darth, of the mat. You should coach in a Darth Vader outfit. Then. I I would do that. Be so hot. Like that. Whoa. And not, <laughs> dude, not like that. Did, did, I'm just saying, no, like, that was like that. that was like yeah. that. That's for chick chuck. Right. So, do That's, you think? Do you? Are you? For <laughs> you feel like, like? Are you a competition school? Like you want everybody to compete? Do you push people to compete, mm-hmm. or it's just like whatever you want to do? It's what you want. You're a hobbyist. Do. You're a hobbyist. Kids want. You know, you want to compete. Do you? Do you push me either way? It's whatever you want. Yeah. You know, I. I when there's well, saying, do you personally? Up, are you like? An no, advocate, like if somebody says, no, nah, I don't really want to compete. No, come on, man. You should try it. You know, like, are you pushing a little bit? Uh, not really. No. Okay. No, nah, if you want to compete, you can compete. If not, you know, you, if not, you're not doing it. Yeah. But I, the ones that compete, I really like get behind them. And if they ever want to like drill with me, you know, off to the side, you know, or during the day, sometimes like we're for free, like come through. Yeah. Like I, I really push the competitors, but I don't make it like uncomfortable for everybody else who just wants to be hobbyists. Like, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah that's nice. Yeah. Cause yeah. I, cause is it, that going to be scalable? What do you mean? When you ultimately have a super gym? What are you going to do then? Is your, dream, is your dream to get bigger? I mean, yeah, you know, where do you want this students. to go? Let's go. Yeah. 250. That's what I want. Where that's my goal right now. Where that's my goal right now. Where you at? Can you uh, say? No, no, you're not. Not there, <laughs> <laughs> not there yet. I got working, the 50. <laughs> working, working on it. I got, no, I got more good. than that. Bro. Yeah, no, that's good, man. He's at 165. I saw you. Really. You took my advice about the, the reviews. That's oh, super yeah, yeah. important. For sure. That's super important. I haven't looked at your, your GMB lately. The oh, picture. You, you Google My Business. I know your boy's taking care of it, so you don't know. Yeah. GMB, the Google My Business. Your map oh, listing. Yeah. That's oh, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. GMB, Google My Business. It's actually, called, Google. it's actually called your Google Business Profile now. It's, it's switching over. Yeah. Right? You want to 
You you looking at her? Does she take care of That's it? That's my manager right there. Man. You taking she care takes of that? Care of my stuff. You know how to? You, you, you good at that? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. She pictures? takes care of me. Are you adding pictures? No, we need to. Add Are pictures. you posting? Oh. For a price. Mm, hey. For a price. Hey man, hey, you're smart. messing. You're messing up her tier two and tier three package. Bro. Oh yeah. Wow. Listen. <laughs> I don't no know how much you, you know. Maybe you know more than me. That's what. That's that's my like big product on my uh, for my marketing company. Um, add pictures. Answer every review and don't like you got to always get reviews. Like, you got a bunch. I know, like, don't stop. It's got to be consistent. The yeah, consistency start, and start. frequency of yeah. what of the reviews is mm-hmm. what's important. Google seeing you always getting reviews, not like, oh, 50 reviews and then no reviews for three months. Like, gotcha. you got to constantly. Yeah. Like, I tell like most clients, don't want just one a week. When you get to one a week, now two to a week, you know, like, even I do one a month for like new companies because they, they, they're like, I don't want to answer reviews because I don't want to get a bad one. One review a month, one a week, two a week, and then it just starts to flow. But you got to ask. Did you review my business, bro? I think I have, yeah. Mm, I'm going to check. You can check. I did check. it. I think my review okay. didn't. That's weird because yeah. she, she was the first one. Like when I show, show it, when I when I look, I see it. But yeah. sometimes because I leave a lot of reviews for people, I sometimes I, I, I don't. don't I, almost, I almost went to your school when I when I left my last one. You should have. I, I mean, I wish I could have, but it's... I went He's scared by. I went by. He's scared. He's scared. I went, I went by. What are you talking about? I get heel hooked all the time. <laughs> yeah, okay, if you kept training, you wouldn't get heel hooked all the time. <laughs> oh, s- no. touche again. Ouch. It was. It was a geographical. So uh, look, decision. I'm gonna give you the next. Are you running any ads? Huh? Are you running ads yet? We're about to. Okay. We're about to start. We find. You got social media ads. Go after the go. Your your target is the mm. mother. Remember that. Mama. You're targeting Mama. the mother. Of the that's going to make the decision on where to bring the kid. Gotcha. Six and, months and ago, bullying ads. Yeah, there we go. This mother. Yeah, don't mother. judge. I'm just. Saying. Okay. <laughs> what, how am I supposed to know? Look at what that, that amazing, amazing atmosphere. That. Knowledgeable instructors, mother. special guests, the veteran kids program. Yeah, man. All right, you're the man. Thank you. I know. How am I supposed <laughs> to know who Rico the Spoon is, bro? You're not. That's why I said, <laughs> tell everybody else. <laughs> hey, Rico the Spoon. Hey, seriously, can you please can you please beep that out? When I used to see him on, uh, when like he would comment on the YouTube videos once he yeah, started coming Rico on, the Rico the Spoon. So that's because <laughs> I, I was a guy. cook. I was a cook in the army, and really? nobody could pronounce my last name, so they would call me Rico. So I was like Sergeant Rico, and then I was a spoon. So it's like Rico the Spoon. That's where it came from. Understood. Yeah. When you start running your ads. Bullying ads targeting the parent, the mother. Gotcha. Don't let your kid get bullied. Don't, Don't let your kid mom. get bullied. Don't let your kid become a bully. Proven method. I know it from the inside out. Put a stop from clients to I had bullying. at the old company I worked at yeah. and my own gym. Gotcha. Is your you go child the mom, being bullied? The mom comes in. Yeah. If you're doing the right thing, you get one of, you're going to get the other kids, brothers and sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles, parents. And then we close the mom. A, if you go after the parent. Single dads. Harder to get the, the kids. Not a lot of What's that? that? Single dads. Single dads. You go after the, in this world, you go after the, you want to get in front of the mom. She's making the decision on where the kids are going to go. That's 100% true in my household. And your your dollar's going to go further. If you start targeting adults, parents, and men, just, you know, could be a single guy. Great. You get, there's no referral stream. There's a smaller referral stream. You get the mom, you get the kid. You might get the mom on the map, but you're going to get the dad. And, you know, she's, who who do moms talk to? The dad's totally, they got me that way. They got me that way. There's a referral stream. Yeah, that's, that's how. Felipe Shout out got to me. all the moms. Hey, you want to know what Felipe did? That like <laughs> that my wife called so many jujitsu schools when she wanted to get uh, Hayden in in a yeah. class. Mm-hmm. You know what he did to set everybody else apart? He yeah. answered. He answered the phone. He I answered, answered the phone. He yeah. an- Thank you to DD Two Fourteen Fightwear Gear for Patriotic Rollers. Visit their website ed 214 com and get 15% off your online order with code JJD. And check them out on Instagram at ed 214 underscore fightwear. Thank you to Feito IT and AV, specializing in commercial and residential automation, security cameras, CCTV, POS, and more. Check them out at feitoitav.com or call 305-428-428. 2515 and let them know the dummy sent you. All of us here at the Jiu-Jitsu Dummies would like to thank the entire crew over at Flow and Roll for their tremendous support. They're renowned for their incredible t-shirt designs and they've got something for everyone. Flow and Roll quickly rose up to become the premier custom apparel provider for academies, big or small, throughout the United States. Shoot them an email about your custom order, flowandroll at gmail.com, and they'll be more than happy to get you hooked up. 
Check them out on Instagram at Plo underscore N underscore Roll for samples of their Gi and No Gi kits. They conveniently offer flexible payment options, too. Head over to flowandroll.com for more details, and while you're there, pick up a Jujitsu Dummy signature tee, now exclusively at flowandroll.com. And remember, you'll get 20% off your online purchase of t-shirts, rash guards, or geese with code JJD. Special thanks to George Hernandez, Claims Adjuster. Have you experienced damage in your residential or commercial property in the states of Florida or Texas from flood or fire, storms, theft and vandalism, even sinkholes, just to name a few? Don't get stressed out dealing with your insurance provider. Call George Hernandez today and let the professionals get you the most compensation possible. Visit HernandezClaims.com or call 305-712-6751 to get help now. And stay in touch with them on Instagram at HernandezClaims. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe wherever you're listening. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the bell to be notified every time we upload new videos. Yeah. Yes, this is the phone. I wonder why Listen, you... I told you about the 15 new students because they got they got somebody answering the phone now. Because yeah. they, get, they get a lot of calls and then it's like you're... You're in class, you're training, yeah. you're talking to somebody else, somebody walked in the door. For sure. They've got a girl doing, you know, answering the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I want to see you get 250, man. All right, appreciate it. This is free advice, you man. Know, man. I, don't, I want to see you no get 250. No matter what they say about you, the man. Yeah, man, I know. Nobody, <laughs> no matter what I nobody say Nobody likes about me, you. man. <laughs> Everybody likes me. Uncle Milty BJJ. Um... <laughs> So when did like, you put BJJ in your name? Yeah. When? Yeah. Oh, but I was like a, a two stripe white stripe. belt. <laughs> I, I I don't even. I might not even <laughs> had two stripes yet. We didn't. See, I got my two stripe. I got two stripes. I think I got two stripes. Like oh. back. To, like he gave me two oh, stripes. God, I, <laughs> I, God, I, like, I, I got two stripes when I got my first promotion. I support that. Didn't you have yeah. that, bro? Did, it's like. It, didn't you have that before the podcast? I had Uncle Milty BJ. And then I Whoa. got to be, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, Whoa. yeah. I, I did. I Uh-oh. probably did that. I did that Who like did? in the, I think actually, honestly, I did it as a white belt because I think I, I wasn't really paying attention to my Instagram. I had started it. Yeah. And then I, I might even started it while I was there. So like, I think I went right at, it was uncle Milty BJJ right from mm-hmm. the beginning, but I was, you know, at Kinney's it was, I was there six days a week. So yeah. it was like you two, were about hour, it. You two were about to three it. hours of training, six days a week. Kids With class. that six day, uh, like going to uh, remember Milton, the other Milton, yeah. uh, uh, Trillis, Tr- Trillis, right? You know, remember the little uh, Mu- the Muay Thai guy? You know, remember his brother had a school, so we'd go to we'd go from Margate to Plantation and go train with them on Saturdays. Like they would come to us, we'd go to them. So every every Saturday it was uh, it was there. open mat. I think I've been there. So. I, th- my wife fucking hated jujitsu in the beginning because it was, was like two girlfriend. or three hours a day she was and a Saturday. She, was your girlfriend. she fucking she was like, okay, she's right. Three hours is a little too much. She would tell me, she's like, really, three hours? And then something when Kenny wouldn't show up, like if he was like on stakeout or something, I would open, and then it was like five, be there five thirty, and I might be there. Till Wait, did you say stakeout? Yeah, he was a uh, he's a, a DHS officer. He was internal oh, affairs DHS okay. investigating other officers. Ooh. You see, that, that's what I love about her because she doesn't stress me for that shit. Like I've never heard like why are you at jujitsu so long? Never. That's why I keep her around. Now like, my wife's like, go to jujitsu. Like, you want to <laughs> like order a spicy balls, chicken sandwich or the spicy chicken sandwich? Now she's Deluxe. gonna fuck your balls all the time. <laughs> now she's you like, you've been at jujitsu so long, but hmm. so like I think now you know what I I've told this I don't know if I said this to you I've said this a lot on the podcast is. Once my wife found a passion for going to kickboxing, she found a kickboxing school. Mm-hmm. Once she found that, she was like, she didn't say it out loud, but she understood, understood she the passion. It. Now she hates when she can't get there. So now yeah. like she's like, work is really intense for her right now mm-hmm. because of like, kind of like a lot of people got let go because of COVID, but now they're staffing up again. Yeah. But she has to work late a lot so she doesn't get to it during the week but so saturday and sundays like she gets up early she, my wife is like she sleeps in when she's not doing something saturday and sunday she's waking up nine o'clock class sign up she's got to like get on the app and make sure she's got a spot Let's go and yeah. she, once she found that passion yeah. she laid off of me a little bit plus i stopped going. then i you know kenny's closed i went to fight sports in coral springs yeah and then it was like then it turned into like every other day mm-hmm. there wasn't any more no geese so it wasn't like Tuesday, Thursday, no gi. You know, so it's like no little. Gi. We don't do the no gi like we don't like a lot of schools do the standard Tuesday, Thursday. Do you do that? Tuesday, Thursday is no gi. Bro, Monday, Wednesday is my. Oh, no my gi. Okay, so we <laughs> do. We, 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 we prioritize only, no gi over here. We do. We do no gi only on Saturdays. <laughs> Open that. 
Why? Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of people weren't showing up for the, a lot of people weren't showing yeah, up for we, you know remember we got like our adults no, our no, adults no, no. are like older because, you know, no no but it's no it's legit gear. we are our adults are older and a lot of, they like the gi and people were just weren't showing up for nogi classes no, yeah. so it's more flattering it's the four days it just looks cool four days, that's all What's up? It just looks cool. Like their belts look cool in the gi, but yeah. as far as everything else, I like it. Both. Like, I I pulled my groin muscle. I just went back this week for the first time since let's, I was out for a month. Gotta stop playing. So I'm already like, I know I'm not gonna do no gi this Saturday. I'll go to the gym. I'll do weights on Sunday. I'm gonna go to the gi on because we he does seven days a week. So I'm gonna go to the gi because I know I have more control. I can control versus no gi. It's when like somebody's pushing my leg down, I push it back, then boom, it, it hurt. I re-injured it once when I tried to go back already. Okay. So I just know like a little bit more control and I can, you know, I can kind of control the pace a little bit more. Yeah. It with the gi. That's not a decision that Stop playing I usually God, I just have to. I have to make the I have an injury, so that's gonna help me. <laughs> I hate losing All right, so we talked about so let's talk about the the TikTok post today. Yeah. So we just like I guess once I really listened to it again when we listened to it here, it wasn't really yeah. the same message, but you Go ahead, and, and the message was somebody's extra question about rolling with uh, like higher belts, taking it easy on lower belts. Yeah, something about that. And what yeah. did you say? And I said that I just finished telling my guys that higher belts should be technically tearing apart lower belts. Agreed. Right, because if not, it doesn't help anybody. Right. So I so when I was a when I was a white belt, there was this there was this purple belt who like he used to let me get like a bunch of positions. At the time, I thought I was like getting the best of him and i was like oh shit like this either like i'm really good or this guy sucks like it gave me a false <laughs> sense of confidence why not both uh, maybe both shit i don't know <laughs> right but it gave me a false sense of confidence and it did nothing for me but raised my ego yeah right now that i like you know i've been just in jiu-jitsu for a while i understand that he was just letting me work but a lot of new white belts aren't going to know that so you give yeah. them a false sense of security and you're not getting your own training right so that's a wasted role for you so what I said is that the higher belts need to technically tear apart lower belts. I didn't say they need to smash them. Yeah, that's, that's a Dana Hurst. So I think maybe when I heard it, I heard it as you should be smashing them. Yeah, a lot of people did. So but like, because you know te technically could go two ways. You could say, like, I could say, technically you're an asshole, right? Not you. You know what I'm saying? Right? You could say yet. technically you're an asshole. You meant technically as literally like they should be using their technique, technique to, yeah. Right? yeah. But I, 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 I also, didn't hear it like that the first time I heard it. Then I laughed, and then I was like, I had just posted something that talked about. I see yeah, how you. Well, I, see how I, I love doing that. Like I, I love being vague sometimes, or not like explaining it fully, so that people get pissed off like that, <laughs> and then they interact with the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I did. I was like, funny. <laughs> like I just, I was like, yeah. I just posted. It was completely coincidental. But again, because I heard it differently in my, you know, yeah. the, that technically part, I had just posted about. How like from one of the episodes mm -hmm. we posted a clip that said like I pull guard and let my opponent in almost all cases, especially if they're a lower belt or they weigh less than me, I'm going to pull guard. I'm going to let them dictate. I called it. I said the accelerator. I'm going to let them dictate the pace. Yeah. I'm going to let them tell me how they want this role to go because I can pick yeah. it up. You know, I'm I'm a brown belt now. Yeah, I can pick it up when me. I want to pick it up. So it's not like I'm letting them smash me. You know. I love getting them into it. Like they're already like they got the arm and they think they're about to arm bar me and then just slip right out and then boom, I'm in there, you know, turn them over. I'm, I'm in there. Yeah. Like to me, I'm, I'm showing them something, but like because of my heart as well, like I can't keep the accelerator on all the time, but this is, I just like I was saying, managing for my leg, like managing with the geek, I manage my energy output, mm -hmm. but I let them come at me because if I come, if 240 pounds is going, it's flying at 175 pound blue belt, mm -hmm. which is kind of what I thought you were saying, like, go technically yeah. go hard. If I'm going hard, I'm a bully. My coach has been like, no, stop bullying. Oh, I'm shit. like, I'm not bullying. I'm just going a little hard on this one, you know? Yeah. But it's, if somebody is my, if somebody's close to my weight, if they're over 200 pounds or heavier than me, yeah, we're going to probably roll a little bit it's harder. I'm not just going to pull guard. Yeah. I made that mistake with that 300 pounder the other yeah. day. I pulled guard. I got him in a yeah. lockdown, and I was just like flat on my back with <laughs> lockdown in. And I was just like, "Oh my god, I can't do all the things I knew to lift." You know, I just, yeah. it was like, just like he was white belt, but he's right on top of me. He smashed all the so. Out so anyway, so I I give that advice. So it, it felt like we had like opposing views there. No, but I, I hear what you're saying. Where you're saying like you you dick your roles are dictated by the pace that they bring. Like I yeah. know a lot of black belts like that. Like that's cool, but like 
I'm talking about when you just get really lazy and you just kind of like there just mm-hmm. flopping around and then that white belt's just like jumping on top of you and like going to mount and stuff. You know, whatever. Like they try yeah. to get into it. Like you let your position. kid play on you. Yeah. You see? Just yeah. thinking that. I know exactly. Right? My two year old, sure. We could do that with him all day. But also what that does is it creates like in the white belt, like I don't know what to do because you're not giving them a realistic look. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. gonna sit there in front of them like this, like, okay, just come on top of me. Bro, there's no so there's been a couple people like in the in the new gym that and uh, we're like a very vocal type school. Uh, oh, you, I'm like a talk, very vocal type yeah, but, but what I'm saying is like, like talk shit or <laughs> no, 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 just like just literally have a discussion, even like when you're supposed to be rolling sometimes, yeah. and sometimes that's okay. Hold and, on, what do you uh, mean, like, like, sit, like, like sometimes people will stop and just go like, what was that? Okay, you like, know, you like, to, the like, and, like they're rolling by themselves, and it's like a like yeah. a like save it for Facebook, right? What does Felipe say? Save it for Facebook, guys. Let's go, let's go. No coaching. Stop the coaching. Thousands Bro. ways to skin a cat, whatever. Yeah. But anyways, like people will do that, and then, and then like you just, it feels like it was wasted, but it wasn't. But then on the technical side of things, like you'll roll with somebody, and and you know they suck, or they're just new, and all they want to do is ask questions, ask questions, ask questions, and but like the for real answer, and I don't know everything, but like I I really love the sport. Is I feel like you honestly you just like I think like the first like year maybe like ask questions here and there but just just show up yeah and just show up mm-hmm. and just like show up or See, my, my, yeah my my gripe with the always go hard it's not what you said i know that but other people do say that mm-hmm. and even there were some comments in there like yeah i hate when somebody takes it easy on me all right listen white belt imagine if that black belt turned it on the alternative is you're going to get your ass beat and he's going to get his training in, and you get nothing out of it. You get something out of it. Yeah. You get your ass beat. I got a lot. But out as of a it. new white belt, you, you I need feel. Your ass beat. Yeah. So, yeah, you need it. Look, you're, you you own a gym. <laughs> I don't. But I work with gyms, and I understand the business side of this is is uh, uh, retention. Yeah. yeah. If you don't retain them, you don't get that monthly. And if I'm beating up your new students, mm-hmm. they're gone. We saw that. We had a coach at our gym that did longer warmups that did harder classes and new people, new people didn't stay. We have a cop left. He was coming there. I want to roll. I want to get the stress out. And like the longer warmups, he didn't like, all right, it's a business. You could say, okay, if you're a competition school and you were a high level competitor you're gonna and you a want a competition crowd. school, good. Weed them out. And you got money on top. Weed them out. Fine. I get that. That's your model. But if you want to have, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you unsolicited advice. You can tell me to go fuck myself. Go if fuck you want yourself. 250 <laughs> students, <laughs> you have to be, you, open the you door. have to, you have your school. You have to adjust to the student. You can't turn them into what you want them to be because you don't, that you have to help them achieve the goals that they're there for. What about, if it's yeah. a 40 year old hobby, it's like that CPA has got to go to work the next day. Okay. So he can't roll hard. I'm not, I'm what not about, talking down to you. I'm not, what, yeah. what about, like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm just saying in the general sense, the, the people That's that are out there, school. Is it? Because yeah. I know a ton of people who go to AOJ that don't compete at all. But what I'm saying and is, and the like, best child's program probably that I, that I've ever seen on the internet. Yeah, AOJ is a great school, but like you, like you talk about like okay, I want 250 students. Okay, my higher belts technically tearing people apart. Yeah, it's not aggressive. Again, that we're taking you out of the equation. Of, no, but know, I'm just I, saying. I said like there are other people out there that do say, and even some people in the comments were like, "Oh, I don't want somebody rolling light with me. I want." All right, if that's what you're there for, great. Then tell the yeah, guy that you're rolling with, come on, man, I, let's let's yeah, let's do let's do yeah. this. Mm-hmm. But that person saying that, that's let's just say a purple belt or lower, and saying that about a black belt, like no, put it on, like no, bring your best. If he brings your best, you're not going to get as much out of it. And you, in the eyes of the school, the in, at the in the eyes of the instructor, I believe the owner, I should say, you might push that student out if you beat him up too much, too often, too yeah. hard. Right. You have to you want to build a school. You're going to have your hobbyists. You're going to have your kids. You're going to have your comp classes. Right. You're going to have those different things. People are there for different. You I feel as an outsider who's never owned a gym like that coach needs to adjust his strategies and the way he coaches to the person. Well, yeah, that's leadership. Right. Yeah. 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 Because I understand the environment that I want. Yeah. Right. And I understand my coaching style. I understand it's not going to be for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the majority of people that come in here that I want to be a part of this team that I want cohesive, then, yeah. you know, I got to, 
I gotta maybe go easier on this person, but then I need to yeah. to to rough up this person, right? Like I have three. And even and I, listen, I've trained with you before. I've been to your school, and when you say rough somebody up, you're roughing them up with a smile. You're oh, yeah, making jokes. Shit. You're having fun. Yeah. So it's just not like you're like going in there with a hammer and, no, and, no. and you know, and everyone's a nail. Yeah, the last like time you're I put still on the having D. fun with it. You're you're going hard. You know when to pull back. You're, you're yeah. an awesome coach. I've, I've been yeah, around thank you. you. Thank you. Like you know? last time I put on a gi, I was like, you know what? I'm just going for that that cyborg knee on the knee on the neck choke. Yeah, I just tried yeah. that. Like I just, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't like you, uh, that's the type. It's of not. It's not me. malicious. Yeah. Yeah, it's no, not. But, it's never malicious. But one thing Sometimes. I will say that you said just now what? that's really awesome is that you're creating an environment that you want. And yeah, I like that because it's my school. It's, it's your school. Yeah. Yeah. A, great point. B, there's no better person to be than yourself, especially mm-hmm. if you're running your own business. Because like I feel like everybody, especially over the age of thirty, that has responsibilities has a really good like BS detector. I have yeah. responsibilities yeah. now. So. Awesome. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, people have a good BS detector. So it's yeah. like, yeah, you're you're creating and you're curating an environment that you like. And yeah. I think you'll be yeah. successful. I when I went to train with, I, I said this to you probably you know, one of the last few times I went to train was like, it was so reminiscent of the first school I trained at, of yeah. Kenny's place, where we could joke around. We could joke around with our coach. It wasn't disrespectful. Yeah. I'm not saying that I don't love my school. I absolutely love my school. Yeah. But it was like a throwback to where, where I came up, where it was like, you know, Kenny was always joking around. He put on a wig and roll with you. Oh, he put on blindfolds and roll with yeah. you. You know, it was fun. Awesome. I, I, I really, I had a great it's, experience to, to, from white to blue. It's apples those and two oranges. Years. Apples yeah, and like oranges. Me. Can, I, can I throw something in there? When I, when I was in karate school around when Hi, Fer- karate Ferro. Street. Yeah, for twelve-year-old girls, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> when I was in karate school, around the time that the Egyptian civilization yeah. crapped out, um, uh, the, the sensei you would ride your dinosaur no, no, school. No, this, my, my, our sensei uphill in snowball. He was he was hardcore. Actually, this guy had fought. Uh, he had fought Chuck Norris and won. Um, oh shit! No, I'm not the yeah, I What does he mean? Beat I don't Chuck. believe it. So he's a John. He's, what Chuck Norris is a, isn't a Machado black belt. Yep. He, yeah, he, he gave John Machado Chuck? his he's black belt. Wrong black belt. No, he's, no, 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 no. Chuck he's, Norris he's, gave Machado his black belt. I think Chuck in what? So, so it, I'm bullshitting. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I, 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 I was gonna, I was like, gonna go with where that. Where we go? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is in relation. Okay, so he beat this Chuck is, Norris in what? This is in relation to what you guys were just talking about with um, w- accommodating the individual student for what they're there for. Yeah. In karate. The way the sensei worked, I don't know how other schools yeah. work, but this guy was hardcore. Yeah, he went in for martial arts, and everybody got treated equal. So, but it's different. The, the difference is that we actually fight and touch each other every day. Mm-hmm. You don't do that in karate for the most part, right? You're not fighting. You're not literally putting on equipment. Even our kids are fighting. No, we were fighting. Our four year olds, yeah. our five year olds, we our ten year olds, our twenty year olds. Don't forget when they are not. Hold on, hold on. Not I will say one thing. We I did karate. Did, we didn't spar. He did go to karate probably we, early eighties. Yeah, early nineties, something like that. Yeah. Karate no, was 80s, different back then. Eighties, eighties. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were getting you? that was before um, the McDojos, 14, I believe. So okay, yeah. 14, yeah. 14, 14, kid, yeah, yeah, kid is not. You're not sparring. No, but as a I child. was a big kid. I was the yeah. same size as I your am coach now. Would, at your coach, your coach, your coach would hit you, right? Dude, hard. told you. I, uh, yeah, it was why I quit. That's why it's different. It was another thing. We used to we used to do the equipment thing. Yeah, put on all the foam pads and fight. Yeah, and he would want you to strike. No, here's the yeah. thing. No like, face. No face. I mean, we had the helmet on just in case for like hard shots, but mostly body shots. But he wanted you to strike so you could feel what was going on. We did this in autocross, too. I used to, we used to instruct the students. I did, at least, <coughs> when they were autocross? new. Yeah, autocross racing. Uh, you uh-huh. race against the clock. And, autocross and, dummies. Yeah. Autocross. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be my show, like right? That'll be my show. <laughs> so what we used to do, when, uh, what I used to do with, with students was tell them, listen, when you go out there and you run, and we we work together in the car. Push yourself and push the car till you lose control, till you spin out. Why? If you don't ever feel what it's like to fail, then you won't know when it's coming. It's, you uh, see what I'm saying? It's yeah, not yeah. a matter of failing yeah. again. It's it's at that point you learn to catch yeah. it right before. And when you can catch the car right before you fail every single corner, you're going as fast as you could possibly go. Boom. Mm-hmm. What I was gonna say was uh like. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Karate is all you had back then, bro. Like, yeah, and, yeah. Karate, and, kung fu. And, and then, you didn't. You had kung fu. And at the time, that was just like the thing. And then it became, it became like McDonald's. Like and we, McDonald's yeah, yeah. was one store one time, yeah, yeah. right? And they <laughs> made real Ohio. burger. I mean, I mean, they make physically real. 
like in a physics type of it's sense. Never real, real meat. But you know it's what never I mean? Real. <laughs> they, they made they made they made off the rails here. You know what I mean? We went and to like, and then it turned, burgers. And, and then it turned into McDonald's. And I think that happened to karate. Like karate was like a thing that was like tough and like tough people did it. And then they were like, oh, what? Your kid wants to do it? Okay, I guess. I'll, and then they they just like pivot, 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 pivot. And, and now, now it turned into I, tons of money. I yeah, think, oh, for oh, sure. Yeah, that's totally. what it turned into. <laughs> I think, and that's going to happen to jujitsu. Mark my words. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. It it's agree. already happened. You, you, could buy, you agree with that statement? You could, you could buy belts. I'm going to tell you what. Do you agree with that statement? There's schools where you could buy belts. The way that jujitsu is, I don't think that it can. Oh, wait, wait. You're, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You're saying the, like the buying the belt thing, like they're just oh, a dime paying, a dozen? paying for it. Oh. I don't oh. think so. I think I think the difference between... Oh, go, ahead, go ahead, finish here. What you were going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. Go ahead. You guys didn't let me explain. <laughs> the difference... <but> but, <laughs> so, okay, I'll let you finish. Go ahead. Okay, it's, it did, it, karate wasn't an overnight thing where it went from his karate, Bo's karate, to like the karate, the McDojo, the karate? McDojo okay. karate. Yeah. Okay. It started off with like, hey, kids Real. are coming. Okay. Okay. I'll pivot. Of course. I'm okay. Not gonna, All right. Because they you. beat him up, mm-hmm. and then like his mom was like, that's that's, that's karate kid karate. Yeah. And so, <laughs> but I think in jujitsu, like the first step is gonna, dude. There's some schools now, and we all know them, where you could go, and it's like it's like how kickboxing was, bro. Kickboxing, Dutch kickboxing. You know, not saying anything about your wife or whatever, and you've explained this plenty of times. She goes for the, for the for the social thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, she gets an exercise out of it. it. Yeah. It's a thing, right? But if you go to Holland and somebody throws a short leg kick at you, it's going to be way different than the one that's being thrown at that back, yeah. right? I, I think that there's a, there's a difference now. There's jujitsu gyms now that are the same. You come here, hey, beginners class. They they hide it. They hide the name, right? Fundamentals oh. class, blah blah blah. Uh, that's okay. that's the Hey, bro, I know you don't want to go ham. I know you don't want to catch okay. the additional this, that. This is your class, okay? But are you also you're saying like there are going to be more McDojo jiu-jitsu gyms? Is that what you're going to say? It's going to eventually have. There's going to be more black belts. I think, there, It used yeah. to be every black belt owned a school. I get, that could be, now, that's with anything. Now you, have, now you have schools where you have, you see the pictures. There would be four or five black belts I mean, in the class. I'm going to use your, I'm going to use your McDonald's reference. Have you ever been to McDowell's? McDowell's? Yeah. McDowell's. We, yeah, we don't have the golden arches. <laughs> we have... The golden, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, that, that's going to happen with anything. I, I think that's that the, I the equalizer is that because you actually have to train and there's so many competitions mm-hmm. and then you have the USC, like you see it on the UFC and go, that's not the jujitsu I'm doing. Then you go to a competition and get your ass handed to yourself. You're going to, if you want right. to compete, you're going to find a better gym. Okay. Like, you know, that it's a little already. bit harder to be a McDojo jujitsu gym yeah. because of everything else that goes along with it. Oh shit! My friends compete at that other gym. I want to compete, and then you get found out. The word you're and missing your coach is gets now. Found out. The yeah. word you're you missing know? is now. And it's hard. And now. then social media. You can't. You can't pull the same scams you could before with just social media. Period. And then I don't you know, even, even think you're not going to hide it. It's no. not going to be a hiding thing. I I, I, I don't I don't agree it's, that I, I there are lots of jujitsu gyms. Yeah. But I don't agree that it'll necessarily go. It already it already happened. It already happened in the up direction. Okay, and that's that's no. Eddie in the up direction, like towards more combat. So jujitsu. What know, do you mean? Ex- explain. Yeah, I, don't I understand. Tenth Planet. Okay, Gracie Baja jujitsu is okay in the cage. Eddie Bravo's Tenth Planet system jujitsu was made in for, the was cage, created for the cage. Was created for the cage. Yeah. Okay, so it happened in one direction already. Okay. It's already starting to happen in the other direction, in my humble opinion. Okay. What, what's that other direction, though? I'm, I'm unclear the, on what you the mean other the other direction, direction is. It's going to be like, all right, come to jujitsu cardio class. And oh, you do, okay. You do 30, <laughs> you know the swinging arm bar yeah, drill? Yeah, yeah, okay, do, yeah, okay. okay uh-huh, do 30 uh-huh. of those. Do 25 cardio, shrimps. Karate. Do, I see what do you're saying. Hit. I don't know if I agree. Do you agree I, with him, I Drew? I could create a jujitsu hit program right now. I don't see it. The one thing I do see, though, in that kind of goes in that direction is like, um, those those jujitsu schools that just do self defense jujitsu, mm-hmm. like that girl we met on Sunday, right? She's a brown belt, and it, the school used to be uh, who are those guys with the Gracies? Uh, Henner? No, no, they oh, like, they have right these on. schools where it's just these giant schools that's just self defense jujitsu. So they're not a well, Gracie school, but they. Oh. Okay. You I mean, the system, what they know. call it, because it's like bully poop program. Oh no, man, it's, it, there's schools that like they're huge. There was one in North Miami Beach. I forgot the damn. I don't know. Top team? It was. It was no. no. There was one in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> well, look, I forgot who they were, but she they, she said that they were once that school, and then they changed to something else. Okay. But anyways, the the self defense jiu jitsu. Like, look, I love Hicks and Gracie to death, right? You know, but 
that whole thing where it's like you have self defense jujitsu and sport jujitsu. It's like people people try to make the case that like sport jujitsu wouldn't work in the streets, and that's pure bullshit. It's like if I know how to do a rear naked choke, whether I do it in sports jujitsu or self defense, if somebody fucks with me and I lock yeah. a rear naked choke on them, it's done. What's gonna happen? Yeah, exactly. It's done. I do think that we should be teaching people. So like, okay, yeah, I grab you, you grab me. We're trying to take each other down and throw. I think I I do like the like how to get you know somebody's choking you. Like I I appreciate we should and learn understand, those moves, and I think that everybody sure. should know those moves as the foundation of of jujitsu. I use them. I think that they should. I choke they should people be when I'm on top. Them, you yeah. know, I. Oh, like you should know how to defend against a punch. Are you doing that every day in your gym? Yeah. No, you're not. You're it's you're more competition style, right? Yeah. You're, you're going, okay. Yeah. That's the fun jujitsu. Yeah, that's the fun yeah. jujitsu. Again, yeah. you, how many t- how many times have you used your jujitsu in the streets? And not since I was an upper belt. I used it in the, yeah. as a white belt. Before you ever trained, how many did you get into fights? I'm when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're in the so Marine how many times have you used your jujitsu since you started training? And like outside of jujitsu? Outside of the school, how many times have you been like, like oh shit? Yeah. I. What does Felipe say? Aisle nine. Aisle nine. Publix. Uh, Publix. Yeah. Fighting with some old lady uh, besides, over the last yard. Well, sometimes, sometimes Are you using your jiu-jitsu? No, absolutely yeah. not. But like, here's the thing though. Like, I think if, if I did, I'd take to his point. Like, you're going to win, oh, but you're not. I'm agreeing with it. I, I agree. You just close, agree. close the distance, take him down, yeah. Yeah. strangle him. Yeah. All of us are capable of doing yeah. that, especially do that against every day. somebody that's untrained. Yeah. Right. So this whole and the idea beauty of jujitsu is if you happen to take me down or you fall on top of me, I still have a game from that side. Yeah. I can take you down and be on top. And top or bottom. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. I'm not playing you know? half guard, though, in a street fight. You can, though. No, but you, you could. But you, it's not your choice. It's not your choice. Oh, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to be on my back. Yeah. yeah. You might fall. He falls on top of you and you're in half guard. Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to try potting. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. You're not going to go, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't pull half guard at street fights. Let's stand up. Well, first of all, if the guy takes me down, and it, it wasn't a real takedown. I'm gonna look around the bar or whatever and be like, "That wasn't two points." <laughs> All right, as you should. Not two points. Not two points. Avantage, and you know, <laughs> we keep rolling. So, Let's go. all right, all right. I, I mean, I see, I see both sides, but I don't necessarily side. agree with the arc. I, I get what you're saying, and I get it does happen already because anybody can open a a school. Hey, Bo, little video. Hmm? Did you get uh, do video and pictures? Yeah, uh, Mike okay. too. Mike. Okay. Mike. Oh, hi, my name is Mike. <laughs> um, I, I don't necessarily agree with the the assertion that it, we're going to go down that road. So I'm going to play devil's advocate, right? The way that I could see it happening is that the jujitsu school owners that actually want to make money will take on more of that karate model because, like... I train, I, like I train karate guys. Like I, there's a couple of black belts that I train in jujitsu. Like I go to their school and I tra- and I teach them some jujitsu, right? Mm-hmm. And in exchange, that he's showing me some teaching, of them. that they're teaching to their students. Yeah. So you're talking about owners and coaches. You're teaching them jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. So they're taekwondo guys, mm-hmm. and then I teach them jujitsu. Like he That's wanted different. to learn jujitsu. <laughs> taekwondo is tough. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. just say that that taekwondo guy's gonna be mad that you said I, I trained some karate guys. Oh my bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Don't, Oops. don't send them the link. My bad. <laughs> Right. No, but he's, he's legit. So anyways, like, they, you know, they show me some of the marketing stuff and mm-hmm. like how they structure their classes and like this package for this, this package for that. And you know what I mean? So a jujitsu school owner would be smart to structure their schools more like that. So I could see like it, by your point is like if more jujitsu schools did that, took on that mo- that model, then it could Look, go down that road. But where it's too mixed. Yeah, it's too but, much. but what you what, what you were talking about is what I think is like. There's a there's a there's a distinction between the belts, right? There, when you're a blue belt, white belts, like there's a there's a big distinction between them and purple and blue. Mm-hmm. Like there's a distinction between them. Now you have some outliers that like you know people that are just insane uh, and they they have like these crazy like athletic builds or whatever mm-hmm. that are able to like you know if they're white belts sometimes they could tap out blues or whatever. But what I'm saying is there's a clear distinction between the belts and that they go to competition and they're in a McDojo and they just get their belts mm-hmm. like nothing like they're gonna get their ass kicked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. So but you don't sell that. That's, that's what the, I'm saying. But then, that, then that'll make them want to go to another school. Yeah, if, that's, if they're into that. What I'm saying is like, there's gonna, there's gonna be that. This, we, you talk about oh, that guy that whoops your butt. He's a CPA or whatever. You know, there's gonna be the, one that's like, oh, I see what's the, going on I, here, and then they start that school that you're talking. Let, about. let me say it. Let me say it this way. Because and, and look, there are there are karate competitions and there are wrestling competitions. There's all types of competitions mm-hmm. between. The fact that your students are going to be seen on social media, 
There are competitions everywhere that you're going to wind up having to go to, mm-hmm. right? It is very hard to be a McDojo instructor and not get found out, yep. right? <laughs> not get exposed. I'm not, I'm not saying they're going to hide it or, or hide behind the fact that it's a jujitsu. I'm saying there's going to be specific jujitsu schools that are going to be completely I, catered to like how you said that self-defense thing. This is going to okay. be cardio jujitsu. Okay. I got you. That's I, what I'm saying. I, I don't know that that's, that's the way jujitsu would ever go. I, I, I believe, I, I do we, believe I in, and look, I think, to find out. L- well, let me ask you something for, you know, uh, do you ever see yourself having multiple disciplines, like being an MMA gym? Is that a goal? Is that something you think about? Well, we or do MMA you just want to be yeah. jujitsu? We are an MMA gym. Do you, so what do you, yourself, A&M, yeah. you do gi and no gi. Yeah. And are you doing stand up as well? And, and then we have a partnership with Henry Hoops, so the yeah. H kickboxing. Okay. So they do so the there. kickboxing and MMA. And when, and when okay. I went, they it was a wrestling day. Okay. Like folk style, freestyle, Greco Roman okay. type wrestling day. And you guys had a wrestler instructor. Yeah, Foss, Foss yeah. is my purple belt. Okay. All right. Foss so you're doing animals. that. So okay, yeah. you're going there. Yeah. I because, believe... because we wanna we wanna cater we wanna build up amateurs. Yeah. That gets really good and then send them to Sanford when they when they okay. get pro. So I, I do believe that in order to not fall into what kind of you're saying, you I do believe if you want to grow a gym and have that many students and have other locations, I don't know if you're gonna be able to just be a jujitsu gym, an academy that just 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 does jujitsu. And be able to have multiple locations and thrive in a world that's going almost all MMA, right? MMA is the new art, right? Yes, I know it means mixed martial arts. I believe an MMA gym is the future of where this is all going. I think that you do have to have stand-up. I think that you do have to have wrestling. You better have a cage. You better have a ring as well. You better be yeah. doing boxing. You need to be doing all of those things. At- if now, some people will say, hey, I want to build up my gym. I want to have my students. And this is my retirement program. I want to do jujitsu till I die. I want to die on the mat. That's right. And oh. Get up, baby. I'm dying on the mat. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't met Matt yet. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to know about that. You just exposed me like that? Wow. Is that the, what you say? Pan, pan? What did you call it? Pan con pan. Pan con pan? Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I think that that's the world that we're moving into. I think it's moving slower than I had thought because I've said that for a long time. Yeah. Because I'm in a gym that's, um, that's jujitsu specific and he's thriving. I mean, he's got, mm-hmm. you know, we've yeah. got students coming in. I do think, though, that so that they don't graduate out and go, well, like you're saying, Here's- send them up to Henry Hoof. If they're like really want to go pro, then you send them up to Sanford. I get that. But if you want to to not students not leave and go, oh, I need to go someplace else to get this part. I think that you have to offer everything. The things that they see in the UFC, like you, you need to offer all those things. That's you know, I you. that's you. Outside, about, outside looking in. Can I can I go even more outside and look in? Okay, so like go real go. All yeah, way I'm gonna go way out. Watch this. Okay, Wonder Boy Thompson, Steven. Top, yeah. top five, top of the food chain. Mm. Fighter. Fighter. Okay, he's getting there, and he's also running a big business. Uh, get in there, and he's go, got well. like three thousand freaking fights under his belt. I'm just saying that guy managing distance, karate main discipline, became yeah. a great MMA fighter. Okay, mm. All right. okay, man, go mm. to his fucking school. I, I'm a fan. Uh, I'm a fan, but I, where he lacks you don't, you don't, you is don't, where he lacks is the wrestling and the jiu jitsu. You're not a top ten UFC fighter unless you could fight. Okay, I, I get it, but there's also it's, he's not the most fun never, guy to watch. He's never won a championship. He's never gotten to that. That next level. Cool. Can't talk Because shit. I think that he doesn't have the wrestling and the ground game that he really needs. You know, he can manage the distance. He can fight from the outside. He's amazing. Okay. I love, I'm a fucking fan. Okay. But I think that's why he'll never have a belt. Let's not, get caught, up, let's not get caught up in the details. But anyway, well, I'm saying you that, him, that. Well, you're talking runs, about his gym. I'm saying that because he, does, because he didn't come from that world. I, every champ, right? They've start. I should say every champ. But, right? Wrestling and jujitsu. That's like the Mainly base. Wrestling. Of, right? Mainly wrestling. Ma- wrestling, wrestling and jujitsu, man, has been like if you're a wrestler that went like you don't you don't have a guy that did karate was like go I'm gonna get into wrestling like it doesn't happen that way it's gone wrestling jujitsu stand up yeah and then or a mixture of champion. all of them at champion. the same time yeah. sometimes you know right? a lot of these young guys coming up doing them all at the same time yeah that, that, see that's crazy. what I'm saying see that's, my, my, the new art yeah is it's MMA. not gonna be karate on the front door it's not gonna be jujitsu on the it's door MMA. it's gonna be MMA and you're yeah. gonna have all those classes. My, my, the most fun I ever had training was 
Tuesday, Thursdays at Kenny's, we did no gi. We did our no gi day of jujitsu. And then we put on the pads, put on the gloves, and we did, you know, it was a Muay Thai class. And then, oh, excuse me. No, no, that's, that's incorrect. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we, it was Muay Thai. And then we would do full contact, like jujitsu. So we would be stand up fighting and then continue on with your jujitsu. MMA. Dope. So the MMA class is what they, yeah, they did call <laughs> yeah. So we would do that. Those were my favorite classes because I got to put together everything that I had been learning. And I started really just like hitting the bag and doing more like, you know, just like bag work and going to gyms that had like kind of like, you know, ba- like kind of bag work classes. Not like my wife does, not the dance fighting. Yeah. But like, you know, okay, let's warm so, up, do some jump rope, we'd spar. And then I, then I found jujitsu. So then it was just like, oh, wow, you're going to do two days a week where I get to do everything. And then I fell in love with it. I believe that that's where it's got to be. Now, I'm not interested in getting hit in the face anymore at 48. So I don't really, it doesn't bother gotcha. me that I don't have that at my gym. I like going for jujitsu. Okay. What I was trying to say, that was way outside. Now I'm coming in. Okay. Come on. Is that, Bring us home. Coming out right. of the cold. So, <laughs> so I sensed when I said what I said about jujitsu gym's trajectory is, is that both of you were like, uh, cause we're like, I mean, honestly, I'm a purist. Like if I see a gym that's like that and then I'm talking to a guy and I'm like, Hey man, I train. And he's like, Oh, I train too. I go to, I go to, you know, uh, flow BJJ or whatever. <laughs> and well, hey, I, I was like, I take, is- I take flow BJJ classes and they're, and, they're, and I'm like, Oh, what's that? And they're like, well, you know, like jujitsu. And I was like, yeah, I train jujitsu. And then they're like, Oh yeah, well we don't really roll. We just do the exercises as if we were rolling and I just do it for cardio. You really met somebody that's on that? No, I oh, just okay. made that all up. <laughs> that okay. But, but what I'm saying is, is like, do you, do you feel disgusted that that person goes there or are you a little bit happy that jujitsu was able to get if big that's enough that's what they're going they there branch? for, if that's what they want to go that's there what I'm for, you know, you, you keep saying McDojo for me, McDojo means what it means to you. It's like, like they're going to get found out. They're going to get like, yeah. I'm not talking about not even hiding it. Like I'm yeah. talking about just like there was kickboxing and then there was kickboxing class. Right. Yeah. It's like, that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's like, it's not yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. a hidden thing. So I, it'll yeah, just yeah. Be, I'll just say, it'll just be hard to do that with jiu-jitsu. Yet. It's right. Hard. But you right know now, what? Yes. It, there's always an evolution when it comes to everything. Like that, that energy that you would give to a person like that, right? Yeah. From what I'm sensing, right? That's how I feel about schools that don't train leg locks. Straight up, because this is the new wave. Like you need to know leg locks. You need to know how to wrestle. So Adapter, people that... Yeah. So people that just do gi and pull guard, it's like, I kind of look at them like that too. Sometimes it's like, okay, when, like, there, there's some black belts that come to my school and, like, I have a white belt that's really good at leg locks and he's able to leg lock them. And it's like, yo, like, you are, an, you are a higher belt, right? You're an advanced jujitsu practitioner. You should know this. Yeah. You should I, be, I and be, or be willing to learn. For that, for that specifically, that's top down. The coaches have to teach us, Right. They need to teach us. I mean, we can seek it out now. When once you're at a certain level and you can travel yeah, and go to gyms, come mm-hmm. train me. Or go go train yeah. mellow. What do we say? You showed up on crutches. I have told you. I'm like, I'm waiting yeah, for my sure privates. Do. I gotta, I gotta get my my, no, my leg game together. But there's no it's got, that's gotta be man. top down. That's gotta be the coaches got, you know, a lot of, I didn't feel comfortable going to other gyms until I was at Purple for a while. And you know, I go to you. We went to you to shoot the, you know, the, the documentary were, that one time, right? You know, I felt comfortable. You were hesitant you know, but, to let me do it. I'm not saying me, that you had you? control. Yeah. I, I brought it up to you when I was a white belt. I was like, I really just want to go to other schools and see how other people are. And then that documentary I, thing that you were talking yeah. about and you're like, well, I don't know because, and no, I think I told you like, you mm-hmm. got, you should, you got to talk to your coach. You got to let your coach, let your coach know. Yeah. You can do what you want. You're a grown man, yeah. but you got to, you should. There's a certain respect you, level that you should tell your coach. You don't want your coach to see you training at another gym on 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 social had, media. But you had reservations about you going. Yeah, or me myself about my thoughts. No, uh, about my thoughts about me. Oh going. yeah, I think yeah. You had said like you wanted to travel, and I'm like, yeah, that's it's going to be frowned upon. Yeah, it's going to be frowned upon. And if you're going to do it right. at a lower at lower level, you better talk to your coach and just be like, hey, listen, I'm okay, going to do this. That's you, the that's yeah. the new heel hooks. Yeah. What's the new heel? Hooks? With, that like like. How you said there should be accountability. If you come in you, as a black belt, you should have continuing education. This is, don't resist the wave of, of yeah. the new style. Yeah. It's like, I feel like that's a new style because even in the th- two and a half years that I've been doing jujitsu, I've seen a exponential growth of people traveling from gym to gym, supporting yeah. gym I, well, to gym. I, I, a lot of people I, come to my open mat on Sunday. It's a, it's a lot more acceptable now. 
Two and a half years. You're not a Creonch? Uh, yeah. Creonch. You, you know, it's as we get further away from, you know, the day, you know, when, when the Brazilians brought it here, right. Mm-hmm. The, the longer the, you know, we, we get away from that, that, that date, that, that date and time, you're going to have people that are going to be less you know, strict about those rules. Like, you know, we joke about the belt washing, right. Yeah. You know, like, or go into another gym, Just you know, don't wear the belt. Yeah. <laughs> Just hang the belt. You ain't got to watch it. Just represent it. No gi. Yeah, no you don't want to wash your belt? You want to wash your belt? No you don't want to wash your belt? No. I don't I don't no wash my belt, but it gets washed. It gets washed. You don't wash it. Your wife washes it. I, I fold. No. She washed. But I, I get it. I Listen, I agree. I've told you before. Like, hey, you know, we've come. By. I went to your gym one time and you didn't come. I was like, hey, we're coming on the weekend and you weren't there. No, I was, Drew's, I was, I was there. there. You were doing I something. There. I traveled, man. You I, doing something. Like I told you I was go going. I'm like, hey, I'm going like to your, I'm I'm like go to your gym this Sunday. Yeah, my cousin's yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm going to go to your gym this Sunday. And you're like, yeah, yeah, come by. And then he wasn't there. Why would he tell you not to come by? Why doesn't he come by? We're going by to learn from the master. You should have said, I want to be there. I wanted to learn from the master. If You should have been more clear. I want to see you. I want to see you. A professor is never late to class. They're always there when they need to be. Exactly. <laughs> I like this guy. See why you keep him around. All right, listen. We're gonna do since we haven't done this with. Oh, well, let's talk about the, the the social media stuff. We, we want to talk about a little know. bit. So, so, so you know. Tell me, well, tell me about what you got going on. You, social uh, media influencer, and if anybody got a problem with it, they can comment. Got my interactions <laughs> up, you baby. Did you? Did you? Is there? Is there a social media influencer thing on Instagram? Yeah, what is it? Is it? What do you got? To, are you are you a public figure or a digital no, creator? Entrepreneur, baby. I, oh, I entrepreneur, make you are. That's right. You put it as entrepreneur. People, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, people of the 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 internet streets. <clears throat> Those verifications, man. That's he's for the people. So you you went. I I know we spoke when we were scheduling you to come on. You were like at three thousand followers. Yeah. And that then, started, like a couple of weeks later, it was like five thousand. Yeah. Like, what, what what's changed for you? What what? Have okay, you been doing? so reels. If you want to grow on Instagram, you have to post reels, but you can't just go willy nilly and post. Like, there's like an art to it, right? Yeah. So, back in November or December, <laughs> taking notes. Yeah, back in November, so somewhere <laughs> around there, like I just started posting reels, and I posted maybe like twenty of them, and then one hit like twenty seven k. Wow. Okay. And then another one hit like 20K and I was like, hmm. Right. So, you know, so then I just kept posting and then it, it got stagnant for a little while. And then then all of a sudden, like I started getting 30K, 40K and then one hit a million. What? Yeah. A mi- and, a, one million. And now it's at 1.8 million. Yeah. So then. What, what video is that? It's the, the Dave Chappelle one. The one was like, I'm oh. one of the baddest motherfuckers oh, yeah. alive. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, that's from the the, so, the, the, the pimps. Shows. Yeah, but that's like the So so here's here's part of the game, right? Like when it comes to making reels or or TikToks. You could you could um load in your own sound. You could upload your own sound. So what I did, Devin actually gave me the idea. He's like, Drew, you should do one to the to the Chappelle show when he's like, When I'm the I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers alive. And I was like <laughs> one stripe white belt. So then I was like, Oh shit, like when the when the when the white belt gets his first stripe. You did it in a white belt. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So I tied the belt all messed up, and I got my other white belt homies, and I sat down, and I was just like, you know, one of the baddest motherfuckers alive, whatever. And then I was like, hold my drink, bitch. <laughs> right? It was a water bottle. Right? And all of a sudden, it was like, like, follow after follow after yeah. follow after comment after follow, and then they start saving it. Because uh, one thing that people don't know is that, a lot of people don't know is that Saves are the ones that contribute the most to your to getting more. Um, oh, views. somebody saves the video. Save. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I don't. One thing that personally, oh, personally, I don't like that I, I discourage all my homies from doing is asking people to share your shit, because there's there's two trains of thought. Number one, shares are not as powerful as a save, and number two, like if your stuff was relatable, I would share it. Yeah, like you don't have yeah. to ask me. I'll See, I don't share, share. I don't share a lot, and I don't know why I don't share. I guess more for like from TikTok. I shouldn't say that. Like on Instagram, I will usually share to my story. Yeah, yeah. is it? Can you can you share to your feed? You could share to your feed because you. Well, can I'm not talking about TikTok. I'm talking about okay. Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm saying Instagram. I right? Save, Instagram. I I, I, so I share it to my yeah. story. No, no, you can't share to your feed. You can repost. Yeah. With I can repost, post, or I could share to. Yeah. I I, share, I share, share to my story. Yeah. Is that good? Is that that helpful? Is that, share, that share? Yeah, but it's not yeah. as powerful as yeah. a save. As a, oh, okay, a save. it's not as powerful as a save. Save is okay. four points. <laughs> yeah, uh, and look, if your stuff is good enough, like if it's relatable, people are gonna share the shit out of it. Yeah. Right. Don't ask me to share your shit. If yeah. anything, ask me to save it. I'll save it because yeah. I'm not gonna look back. Dude, at that anyway. explains okay. all those videos. So, like the videos that my wife watches and saves, 
Yeah. They say it, but it's all like, they do it like, it's gotta be a little bit, it's gotta be instructions. Yeah. I noticed that because all the ones that she saves are instructions. They're like, yeah. how hey, to- save, hey, sit down, save this video. That's how they started off. Yeah. And then they'll say like, how to make chicken mm. popacosh or whatever. Okay. Then, it'll try. <laughs> or the plant stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what happens, what happens what? is, uh, popacosh, aren't you like from like the Eastern block, bro? Well, you know how to make that? Poppycock. So, so the way it works, right? Twirl. Instagram and, and TikTok are trying to find content for their audience. Okay. Right. So for us, like you, you're in the podcast slash jujitsu space. Yeah. So they already have an audience for podcasting and an audience for jujitsu. Right. So you post a reel, and they're gonna put it out to 50 people. Now, depending on how they interact with it. So if all 50 save, you better believe you get like a million view video, yeah. right? They're going to push it out to 100, then 500, then 1,000, mm-hmm. you know, and it's going to just keep going up, going up, going up. So as long as people keep interacting with it at those lower levels and it's just going to keep going up, going yeah. up, going up until people stop interacting with it. Yeah. Right. So I for, completely forgot where I was going with that. But yeah, that's. Uh, well, so we say we were talking about what what helps the video. Oh, yeah. That's what, what helps, helps the video. video. And, and your and your Rick James and, video. And, yeah, my Rick James video. So, so, so with that one, like it's relatable. Right, what you feel like Everyone you're on top loves, of the world when, when you're one stripe white belt, right? Everybody loves like poking fun at like the one stripe white belt, and then the nostalgia from the Chappelle show from all of us guys that watched it. How about when you were a white belt and you really did think that you? I was pretty proud of getting my first strike. That's what I'm saying. It's relatable. Yeah, yeah, it's super it's relatable. relatable. Yeah. So I had I had relatable. I thought you meant relatable nostalgia. from like you watching it. But both, yeah, all of it. True. That's why yeah. it's a million, yeah. that's why it's a million view video. You know, you remember that that episode. You remember that. You also, episode. yeah, you remember you being the white belt, and now, yeah. you, and now you also like you reminisce about them being a white belt while you watch them do white belt shit. Yeah, right. And and then not only was it jujitsu people commenting on it, right? It was all kinds of martial artists. Mm-hmm. And then just the Chappelle Show reference got so many other oh, yeah, people. Oh, yeah, other people are going to see it. And then not only did it get a million views, I was on, I, I had a trending sound for a while. Oh, yeah? Like 1,600 people made that videos sound, using that sound. you uploaded it? Because I uploaded it. Yeah. Right? So if you find sounds like that that people don't really what, use. What is, do you know, I, I don't know if, if you'll know this, if you've gone this deep, but like the legalities of using like a certain length of, of a sound, like does it have to be shorter? Does it, can as it be As long longer? as you're not monetizing it. Yeah. Yeah. So as long as you're not, you're not selling it, it yeah, you're, you're not, not selling, selling it. it. Is what I, yeah. I didn't know. Well, I, I knew I don't do it. I don't upload sounds. Like I thought, what was the sound that I thought was going to get? He, he said, uh, unvax sperm is the new Bitcoin. Sure sure I was I was sure that somebody was gonna like oh, repost it awesome. and I didn't see nothing. But it got a lot of views. It got a lot of <laughs> yeah, views. But for that's us. that's the only of all the videos I've made, that's the only one that has that has both like on Instagram sound. and TikTok. Yeah. That people yeah. took yeah. the sound and made other videos. Are you like pro one but not the other? Do you like are you I just the understand I just have a bigger following and, and I understand the Instagram algorithm more than yeah. I do TikTok. Yeah. But I don't I, I don't have like our TikTok is grow, grows faster. I huh? I'm like we just started TikTok a couple of months ago, so it's grown faster than our Instagram did. Yeah. But that's because you know. your Instagram is like a brown belt, and your TikTok is like a white belt. <laughs> so it's it's yeah. gonna look Thanks at the for, front end. You, yeah. you progr- at the bell curve. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. You know. I I enjoy it. I wish I had more time to do it. Yeah, you know, um, I definitely suggest. Like I agree with you. You know, you got to be doing it. It's just the new. They you know they've changed the amount of space where you can do, you know it used to be the box and now it's like a longer rectangle. Like yeah. I think five by four. Um, she you know, actually it, taught me about that. Yeah. Oh, is that you? Are, are you the genius behind this? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing. <laughs> you should have mic her up. I didn't know. I know get, right? get the fuck out of here, bro. Let's let, let change seats. <laughs> hey. so yeah, no, see, for real. Because me, bro, like, I, I'm, I'm such a caveman when it comes to shit. Like, I take yeah. action. You know what I mean? Huh? It's like a barter system. Leg locks for likes. Leg locks for likes, baby. There you go. <laughs> that's a that's, that's like a shirt t-shirt right there <laughs> yeah but like bro like i'll i'll make the real and i'll post it i'll make the real post it and she's yeah. like hey listen like don't have the black bars at the bottom I'm like okay right and yeah. she'll show me how to change it boom i'd start doing that and yeah. she's like you know she'll give me tips because i mean i'm just gonna i'm gonna take action to keep going towards it but i do appreciate her because appreciate you babe, because she does like hey you should do this or you know make the caption like this or put these words instead of these words I'm yeah like, All right, gotcha awesome 
So it helps. Yeah, like you know who who put me on to is Stephen Williams. Yeah. The um he's a down Hands here black belt. Oh. He came on for us uh, uh, what's his uh, Instagram S- Stephen Strangles people. Yep. Stephen Strangles. And he kind of took off with his content. I so I was watching yeah. his I like content. I asked he him to come on. Niche. Yeah, he's really yeah, street kind stuff of is three awesome. tips on it, you know, for street fighting, you know, yeah. like it, that that model has worked, and, he's and he so does it in the street, which I think is like, yeah, 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 he's yeah. recording outside, which must be great for people just driving by. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> they found his niece. Like me, what people? But he's like the one the that put me, me onto it, you know. That said, yeah. like, like because it was more TikTok. I'm sorry, it, it was more fun. TikTok side before, like, like reels were reels were reels, but he was really hitting that TikTok side. He had blown up on TikTok, yeah, and he's just really taking it to another level. So. Brought yeah, so like he's time. so uh, Steve's a good example. Like he's just himself, right? He has yeah. that like that kind of like sarcastic attitude, and he just he, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. he uses, right? Because it's mm-hmm. him. With me, like I like to laugh, joke, and act, right? Mm-hmm. So when you come to my page, you're gonna see a lot of that. So that's why, like, my videos where I'm acting out mm-hmm. something, like the Chappelle yeah. Show one, it's like people really love those videos, and that's like most of where I get most of my following, right? So that's why, I like, a technique video, I'll sh- I'll throw a technique video in there. Just to mix things up and show that I actually know how to do jiu-jitsu. But am I going to sit there <laughs> and, like, step-by-step step John Danaher this thing? Hell no. Mm-mm. Right? I, I like the, like, three-tip model. You know, like, three, you know, three tips on how to do something. Or I, I think uh, I watch your content. Yeah. It's no. good. It's, you, you, you move, I watch yeah. it. I'm like, oh, shit. Ballerina I like toes. Put the, yeah. You know, right? <laughs> but some people, they'll comment. They'll be like, oh, you did it wrong. Or you should do it. And I'm like, bro, listen. If you want a detailed instructional Fucking pay the three hundred dollars. Go get John Danaher's instruction. He'll tell you detail yeah, by but detail. The thing is, but don't go on IG trying to learn. Well, you kind of said it before though too that even that hater is helping you. Oh yeah, for you sure. Know, even that hater. Number yeah. one, he's he's helping your video because he's interacting with it. But number yeah. two, like he's giving you potentially your next content. Your net. Well, let me answer this. You know, let me reply to this recorded yeah. video and you know. So that's why I had to make that you. other video about the back. <laughs> which which one? There was one which I one? did about the back, right where. I trapped oh, the army. The it was like it was like uh um come here, let me scooch in here a little bit. Uh, like, we've been trying to reach you over yeah. your cars. <laughs> <instead of emergency. laughs> yeah, I did it with my brother, you know what I mean? I just like, you know, I, I trapped his arm and like, you know, I choke him out. Right. And then some some white belt, poor white belt, man. That white belt went on my thing. He's like, bro, you shouldn't cross your legs. Oh, so I, I try to let that. I try to let him down softly, right? I was like, no, you can as long as you have the arm trapped. Like it's okay. Nah, bro. And he just like kept Did he really he go kept at it you? up? Yeah. He kept up trying to He's tell trolling, me man. He why. No, you I, added I think the it was just, her out to, I think it to was the end just, of it, right? It, well, that was the second video yeah. I did. It was like I, I understood it was just good initiative, bad judgment. Cause, you know, we drill that into day one white belts, right? Don't cross your feet when you're on the back. All right. So he's he kept trying to explain All, and I'm also like, on arm no. bars. Huh? Also on arm bars. Oh yeah. From Wait, the because it leaves your legs open. I, I I cross my feet now. I just cross my toes. From the guard when you do an arm oh, bar? Oh no, 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 no. If I'm in an arm bar, if I well, I will get let him finish. I'll tell you why I do it. Why I cross my feet. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. Go I'm sorry, go ahead. Finish finish your thought. Yeah. But anyways, so, uh, he kept he kept like he kept going with it. So I was like, you know yeah. what? I tried to coach. Now I'm gonna make him an example. Yeah. And that's why I made the second video saying, like, look, like this, yeah. this is why. But it still was funny because Devin was in the background. Like, I was like, yo, if you put it right here, he's just going to break my leg. He's like, yeah, he's going to break his leg in the background. Like, it was hilarious. You know You know what? That's uh, why I love my team because uh, that's the environment that we have. Yeah. We fucking you do. train hard, but we I, talk about shit. your environment. I, I had a, I, I, if you remember, I told you when Tom was like, bro, like, this reminds me of when I first started. Yeah. I love this vibe. Not that I dislike the vibe. I like yeah. to go and get my jujitsu done in an hour, hour and 15 where yeah. I am and I go home. Yeah. But I also love that being able to hang out, have fun, joke around with the professor, yeah. with the higher belts. All your guys and are it's... also really approachable. Like yeah. I've, I've gone there where I know they didn't know that I knew you or who I was. Yeah. And all of them were just like, he, I, super when we went last time, I yeah. definitely was like, again, I, cause it's my approach in most cases. Like yeah. I am I here. And if you want to roll with me, come and roll with me. And in my school, like, okay, it works. And then if they, you know, the unlucky, 140 pound guy that's got to roll with me because he was the last one to get a partner. Yeah. You know, when I go to somebody else's gym, I'm just kind of, I don't travel a lot to other gyms, but I still have that approach. This guy was like walking around the mat. He like rolled with every fucking person there that day. You know, it was like yeah. that. Ta- Tammy, Tammy Musumichi is like that. Yeah. She is literally the first one on the mat and the last one off. And she yeah. will sit there and she just, so she does rolling. She's like, she'll I like run it. up to somebody else and be like, yeah, yeah. want to roll? Want to roll? Want to yeah, roll? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I equate it. I equate yeah. it to like buffet. Like, 
That's, get what you can. Yeah, get, get, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I actually like the experience of rolling with different people. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. mind getting my ass whooped. I don't mind doing the ass whooping. Yeah. I don't. I actually really the the best the best thing that I get from rolling with a, var, a variety of people is that I find an equal, and that's yeah. the hardest thing to find is an equal at whatever stage you're at. Yeah. Because yeah. that's when you really and they feel it too. Yeah, and, and that's they're like, and they're like, back and forth, shit. back and forth, and then it forth. turns into like, yeah. it turns into that role where you're like, I got a good one in today. You yeah. know what I was going to mention? I was going to say uh, you talked about like the guys in the background, uh, Ken, Ken Peters. Peters. Yeah, those two guys are. I follow them both do you, now. Do you, gems. you see his videos mm-hmm. where like there's always a couple of guys in the background doing something while he's doing his doing CPR in the background? <laughs> <They're> <laughs> they awesome. were like this the other day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. something like that. Or like they did. I think they were both wearing kind of the similar or the same rash guard and and spats. And they were like, you know, like hand to hand, like going yeah. like this, like if they were in the mirror. Yeah. His shit is funny, man. It, yeah. he, he added that little element between buy my shit and now that background stuff. Yeah. Buy my I'm, shit. Awesome. I, listen, I, I watch more of his videos and I'm just watching the guys in the background. I'm not even watching. Some them, of right. them. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, what are these idiots going to do? And like one time you have some guy like floating, like just like rolling back and forth my, in the background. Yeah. The, the, CPR one, the CPR one was my favorite. The, you know, but that goes back even further. Do you remember the one where the guys like talk? There was a video of a guy talking, and then like the somebody leg. throws. He yeah. like literally yeah. like throws like the freaking. I think that was organic. Didn't even, yeah, that was. Ah! Yeah. And he doesn't yeah. even stop. He yeah. just keeps on talking. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> but that, I think one. that is like a. I feel like if, dude, that's, that's like a classic. If, if right that's there. your business, you know, it's like when you work when you first get a job anywhere. It's like when you're in the job, like the first couple of weeks are just like magical. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, you don't really have a responsibility. Nobody really knows what you're doing. Yeah. You, people don't know if you're accountable yet. If you're just going to be one of those rotating door employees, yeah. you know? So it's like this magical moment where you're like behind the scenes and you're like, Oh, okay. And then it turns into like your job. Yeah. yeah. Right. I feel like if you're an instructor, I feel it's like the same thing. It's gotta be at, at a certain point, you just get desensitized. Do you Do you agree with that? To certain you mean, things. Like, desensitized or what? like, 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 okay. You're a father. Yeah. When your baby's a baby, like everything's a big deal. And oh. then and then as they get older, like that thing that before you'd be like, Oh, are you okay? Like mm. you're not You're like, like, Yeah, he's gonna be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like but, if they hurt something, it's like if so, they hurt their finger, you got nine other ones, let's go. Yeah. Where where's where's the social media going for you? Because you know, we jo- we've been joking around, like I said, uh I put public figure on my personal Instagram yeah. and, and my wife and daughter. We're, like, oh, we're constantly giving me shit. It was funny. They had fun with me with it. Okay. And I changed it to like digital creator. But, you know, the following is really on the jujitsu page, not my private. Where okay. Where is this going for you? You know, you have it. You have entrepreneur. Gotcha. What does that mean to you? Okay. So here's what it is, right? I, I had to take a step back and see, okay, what type of instructor do I want to be? Mm-hmm. And then what type of businessman do I want to be? Mm-hmm. Right. And how can I mesh the two where it, they're, they're cohesive? Mm-hmm. Right. So... You know, the the thing about having a jujitsu gym is like if you purely rely on the students, then you're going to treat them like a number. Right. And you're going to be haggling them for money and your your money becomes like the main object. Yeah. And then you lose that student teacher relationship because yeah. now it's like student money, mm-hmm. you know. So I want to take the Chewy model. Right. Jujitsu. He's he's one of my good friends. Love it. And what is he, what does he do? His student. He always has a the maximum amount of students in his gym mm-hmm. that he can hold. And he makes the majority of his money through social media, mm-hmm. right? So if I have the ability to edit, I, I have the personality that people like. Obviously, since I grew my following yeah, so right. fast, you love me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to use that model. Blow up my social media, right? And I'm actually uh, a part of Chujitsu's, um, his monthly membership where you go in there and you learn marketing. Right? On on Where? I know on YouTube or on social media, like where on, on his social website. Media. Oh, just on the website. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm part of that. Right? Shout so, him out. What is, what, j- jiu-jitsu. Just, uh, <laughs> do you know the link? <laughs> jiu-jitsu. You know the, like, know. Like, just hit up Chewy. <laughs> yeah. Hit up Chewy. Right. But I'm just saying. So like, I, I, see, I didn't even know he had that though. So I'm saying like, shout yeah. out. What, what are you talking about specifically? He, I don't doing, even know if he wants to push it like that. Oh, okay. All right. Right. But he's, you know, he, he teaches you about how he markets his gym. Okay. Right. But it's. Okay. It, yeah. So blow up on social media. Right. Make an impact. Then a profit. Yeah. Right, blowing up on social media so I can attract people to the gym. Because yeah. one of the stories that he tells you in the program is how, um, when his social media influence started going up, his ad his ad expenses started going down. Okay, ad expenses or yeah. the money coming in from ads. What do you mean? So his his influence goes up. Yeah. Right, and he's having to spend less on ads. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah, because the 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 cost will go down per yeah. per click. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I, and that way too, like you get to see what type of person I am in many different um, okay yeah. atmospheres, right? You see that I'm funny, but you see that I can be deep. You see that I'm serious, right? You and you you're see a handsome devil, bro. Thank you. You're you are good handsome, looking, right, you. Stephanie? He's adorable. Yeah. She, she better has said that. Yeah. Yeah. Ride home, you know what I mean? Now that we know that, you know, the, the, the genius yes. behind the man. Is, but oh, go ahead. Behind every, strong yes. behind every strong man. Behind every strong man. Yeah, so it's just that model. Make an impact and make a profit. You know, I always, I, I think don't know meant, that I wanted uh, a gen- I think he meant that that uh, it's not about click. You spend less on advertising because... It's more word of mouth. It's more well, you also sharing. like your your, your yeah. cost per click actually can go down. That's true too. But the longer you're running ads, it goes down, and then like kind of the more interactions you get, no, like your, co- your the, cost per per click will go down. I thought that's what I, he meant because I, I, I see that I see that in our stuff. Mm-hmm. I know like if I spend less, if I or I can uh, if I spend less, the cost per click goes up. I understand what he's saying. His I didn't know if he meant like the actual yeah, dollars the actual, he's spending yeah. or the cost per individual click I, goes I'm down. Gonna, I'm going to imagine that he talks about like. Just his not having to advertise because his influence and, went up. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, because yeah, you're, yeah. you're providing value at See, the end I, of the day. I guess we're a little different. Uh, that the I more, know what you're saying now. Right? Is, is there's, I go online, there's less ads on his videos. Huh? Well, oh, I thought no, you meant no, like, no. like no, he has to spend less on his ads. marketing because he's oh, okay. pop, because his his organically is going popular. Up. I, yeah. I also his organic his organic influence goes up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So so I go out on the internet and I add value to people, whether it be through entertainment or technique or whatever mm-hmm. it is about jujitsu i'm adding value to people mm-hmm. so as long as i'm adding the value to the people making that impact yep. then i could turn around and turn it into a profit because yep. now it's an even exchange so what i was going to say too was i've always i can't say i'm someone who's dreamed about having a gym but i think about it i think most people think like what i would i do this for a living yeah i like what you said where like if you're putting the students first I've been at gyms, uh, you know, again, I'll, I'll shout out. Kenny is, is, was, was one of them. Um, you know, veterans trained for free. It, people that didn't have money. I traded with him like marketing services. I never paid Kenny one dime. Yeah. Ever. Um, I wish he would like, we had struggled to chase him around to get info for the website. Like we had to yeah. do, I got to chase, you know, but, um, I, then I started training and I started opening. And so, I, we never had a discussion about hey you got to pay because I was I was working there you yeah. know I was I was working there I was running the classes doing the warm ups he wasn't there I'd open you know so but I've always wanted to be able to just be able to give jujitsu to people who couldn't afford it or if yeah. having a rough time to just be able to say you know I was I I stood right next to him he's like don't not come because you don't have the money just be here tomorrow yeah don't fucking tell me you don't have the money don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it and, and, and he 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 operated like that in the, in the beginning. And I mean, I, I respect him for that. And I've always, if I had a gym, that's the way I want it to be. I don't want to be struggling with the gym, worrying about memberships and like chasing the dollar. Like kind yeah. of what you're saying, right? I, I want to be able take to. That, but here's the, here's the adverse of it, this right? this now. I yeah. don't have to, you know what I'm saying? I got this, bringing in money. I can, I can be a nice guy yeah, and help but if people. You, if you love the students too much, right? <laughs> then you're not going to have no money. You there's, can't a fine, the yeah, on. there's a fine balance. Right. Yeah. So, so like you said, like you got jujitsu dummies, you open up a school, you're not really going to be looking towards the students to pay your the lifestyle. Ad dollar, yeah, the, the, right. You, yeah. you, you need the students to keep the lights on. Right. But if yeah. you, if you were able to take jujitsu and make money through something else like social media. Yeah. Right. And then you'll be able to focus that love on the students and not worry about how you're going to live. Yeah. I, I actually, I, I'll share, I can't, I have to share it off camera. I'll, I'll share what I kind of started to tell you my plan before. I want to tell you yeah. the rest of my plan. Cause you said like, Hey, we, we should talk, yeah. tell you the rest of my plan on what I plan to do, yeah. which will happen this year. And and see where that goes and and see I, I'm curious to get your thoughts but I, I can't For share because sure. I'm not going to give the idea away. Gotcha. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I would love to be in that place. But I don't I don't know that I want to open a gym. Like I don't. My my money's coming from the marketing. Like the marketing company is where yeah. I make my money that I can. In, I'm still investing in this. Yeah. I still. As a we, get, we sell a sponsorship. Yeah. We sell a sponsorship. That money all goes into the podcast. I do not pocket a dime. We're not. Even though it could be profitable. I put every dime that I make, every sponsor dollar into this. Yeah. And every I what I try to do is as I'm making more money marketing, I try to match. Yeah. I'll put, you know, a certain yeah. percentage to match what um what the podcast itself is bringing in For because sure. I really want it to blow up. Yeah. I do. It's the mistake, and you know, we talked a little bit about the podcast. We'll talk about that too. We could talk about it on air if you want, but you know, we just mentioned, you know, you, you were talking about doing podcasting. Um, I tell everyone. 
Now you're doing it the right way. You're developing an audience and then you start to do like Chewy did. Like he had an audience and then now he's doing his podcast. I get that model. Yeah. But when somebody tells me cold that they want to do a podcast, I've told people, they're like, you know, wh- how'd you start? what you do? I said, well, first, my first piece of advice is don't do a podcast <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's fucking expensive. But when I look, look, you see yeah. this room, like, you know, Bo did this room. I bought the equipment. You know, he's some of it's his, some of it's mine. Like, there's a lot of money in this room. And, and your time. My time yeah. away from the family. Yeah. Filming on Saturdays. And just because it was fun for me doesn't mean it was fun for my wife. Yeah. You know, um, you know, just the cost of everything. Sure and like the ad, but, but advertise. I was giving away shirts before we ever recorded our first podcast. My wife was telling me, like, how are you giving away shirts? And no, you haven't even said one word on air. You haven't even. I said, it's the trailer to the movie. Like we did it the right way. We put like what you're doing now. You're you are the trailer to the movie. Your social media is the trailer to this potential movie that that's going to come. Yeah. She didn't understand that. I wasn't putting out move videos. I was a freaking blue belt, purple belt, whatever it yeah. was that was at the time. Yeah. But I did put a lot of money. I was lucky enough to have a job where it allowed me to take money and put it into this. Yeah. But I tell everybody, don't do it. And now, if you're not going to listen to me, now I'm going to tell you the rest. I love it. But I'm going to tell you, unless you have money to invest in marketing. Or you're somebody famous, which is kind of what you're saying you're doing, right? You're building oh, up the following. Hey. 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 You, you made it. I made it. Knock him down a peg <laughs> Baby, when you I'm get famous. in the car. When you're driving home, knock him down a peg. Put him in his place. I'll hey. pull over uh, and make but him take unless a you're, Unless you have money to invest or you are famous, don't do it. And again, if you don't want to listen to me, you. I, I told this to somebody that we know. I'll tell you who it is off here. I said... He came to me after being on the podcast. That he was talking and asking questions about podcast. I'm like, is this something like you want to do? And he asked me about the cost. And I said, first, well, forget about the cost for a second. Do you want to do it to make money? Or you want to do it because it fills, it fills you personally? And if you never make a dime from it, you'll be okay. Which is that? Okay, you want to make money? All right, so then you're going to need to invest money. This is what the equipment costs. This is what if you want us to film it for you, this is what it costs. Mm-hmm. And guess what? He never did it. Because once he learned the cost, I tell everybody, I'm, I got a bow. This is, you know, I yeah. didn't just go buy. Uh, he told me what to buy. Yeah. He does the post-production. He does this. Yeah. He's over He's over there it's behind like, the, the like cameras Jamie, going. It's like Jamie from Reminding Wish. us yeah. to talk into the yeah. mic and tell, you know, about, you know, he's reminding yeah. us of that stuff. There's also that. Yeah, you could just record it on your computer and that's fine. Yeah. It's never what we wanted to do. We had, when I brought him the idea, yeah. he jumped on and said, the vi- like, we talked about it. This being a show, not just a podcast. Yeah, for sure. Doing not everybody does the video right out of the gate, right? People do. Yeah. But I, we, we were on the same page of what we wanted it to be and where it could go, which is what I'm going to share with you. Yeah. Off later. camera gotcha. on where this, like, the next iteration Dude, of this. I feel yeah. like I feel like the but, audience can be like you're saying too much. Like now, yeah. that, now there's gonna we're you're gonna have trailer, to release man. you're gonna release a. Well, it, well, that's the thing. You know, we're talking off about. Camera. I like you know, it. There are it's a a truth. I like it. It's what do you say? Like, am, I, am I too high level for uh, for the listeners? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm just, I like it. I like, oh, okay, I like, okay. how, I like how you say it, like, yeah. Well, it's, it's actually oh, that very... part. Oh, that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm just, but listen, there are a lot of people out there that, that listen because they want, they, like, I never looked at Joe Rogan and said I wanted to do that. You know the story. I used to go out with Junior. I used to go out with Mauricio. Yeah. I used to go out with Raul. Yeah. And can you give a shout out to that amazing restaurant? Yeah. Uh, Sicilian oven. Oh we used to go to Sicilian so, oven. We I, used to try, I live 30 miles away from the place. I still go. There's one in Fort Lauderdale. There's Sicilian there are oven, multiple locations. There. Yeah, and it's real good. Oh, Lighthouse it's amazing food. I we used to go there, and you know what? A lot of it was like Junior telling us like kind of about the Popovich days and like the you know the the, the that, that crew and the what are this, the, the Avengers like that Avengers. time and the stories behind some of those things and the things that we didn't know. And I used to be like, my, oh man, I wish we were. If I wish that white belts could hear that mm-hmm. and know where, like what we've gone through, what he went through, like what we yeah. go through to a small degree. But we would just talk about things like, like, I was like, we got to record this. And the only reason I did it when I talked to my wife and I said, like, I'm thinking about doing a podcast. The first words out of her mouth was like, oh, there's a guy in the office that does a podcast. You could do it there. And like, she just, yeah, I remember that. she just jumped right. In. I was just like, I'm like at dinner going, all right, I'm going to like. I got to bring this up, have a drink, have a glass of wine. She don't drink. You know, I'm like, hey, drink some wine, get a margarita, <laughs> you know, like get something fruity. And I'm thinking I was going to like go into this big, like have to sell her on it. Exit. And she was just like, boom. Nice. And I don't think she realized it later what it was going to be. Yeah. And then she's like, oh shit. But I, when she, I got her buy-in, it, that was it. And then it was, yeah. Yeah, but like, you know, this is like, like, our, this is our three year anniversary, like uh, April 
Nice. We, the idea, the idea the was conceived in March, and then we did like a, uh, uh, like a, I called it a dress rehearsal yeah. in April, and then we launched the first yeah. one in May. I was one of the first guests, right? You yeah. were like guest three or four. I just, you were, I just, you were like third episode. I think we did two episodes, and then you came in to do two, and remember like you had a family member, oh, pet, yeah. like you were there. You did the first episode. We were going to record a second, and then That's you got right. a message that somebody in your family, that first your, one was good, your cousin, though. I think, right? Yeah. I just want to say earlier, you said, I want this thing to blow up. And I just want to kind of clarify that oh. when you mean that, when you say blow up, and then you were talking about what kind of podcast you want to have. Do you want, it's a passion project or do you want to make money? Yeah, yeah. Right? And I just want to clarify, because I know this is how you mean it, is you want to blow up so you could do this all the time. Yeah. Because, because you love it. I, I just yeah. want to clarify it because you said it. And, and I know how you feel about it. Yeah. And. Dude, it's like, dude, if I could do this all the time, like just yeah. do this. So this and is like throw t-shirts at, you, at basketball games. You want to hear like the most <laughs> fucked up double-edged sword? Well, there's more to Let's it hear than it. just the, the most uh, for this. Wait, wait I want Miguel. You got to hear this because this is the most fucked up. I don't think I have a choice. Sword. Yeah, I'm in your head. <laughs> yeah. I have control of the fire. <laughs> Shut his mic off. Uh, about. So this is the fucked up part of this is I left my job, a six-figure job to do this. Yes. I, I said, I can do this. And I started, the idea was that was black belt uh, uh, graphic design. Like that logo that you see there, it was black belt graphic design. And I was like, I could do graphic design. I have a whole setup of getting graphic design done, a team that gets things done. And I thought that was going to be the easy way to do it. And then I said, I don't know if people are, I'm going to get paid enough to replace my income, to do what I'm still doing here. I said, I really feel like I need to be a full service digital marketing agency, which I had owned before. And then I went to another company work. I was on my own for eight years, went to somebody for six and now I'm back on my own. So, so for those like, people that don't know, right. So I own black belt digital media or digital marketing. I keep yes! saying media. Black belt digital media marketing. Company. You know, I, I own, that's my company. We support the podcast. This is the middle one, one of the middle ones. <laughs> so I, I me, you know, so that, that's me. So I'm a black belt, so I can't sponsor me. What's up? I'm a black belt. Yeah. So you should sponsor we'll talk. Me. So, <laughs> so that, that's one of the things I like Baby, to do. We got to talk to them. But see, the thing is that blew up nice. quickly. Because of this. So it's like, well, there's been crossover. Yeah. yeah I have clients that sponsor the show. Yes. I have clients that have come to me because of the show. And now like, I love marketing. I love to, I call it, and, and Bo knows it. I talk, I say it's the, I, I like the idea on a napkin. Like, show yeah. me your idea and let me help you. Yeah. That's fulfilling for me to help you take that from nothing to like idea to like logo, website, let's buy the domain, let's get you registered on Sunbiz. Like, I love that whole process of yeah. showing somebody how to do that. They're so appreciative because most people don't understand those little things that yeah. they need to do, right? But that blew up. That's Unexpectedly. Awesome. That's awesome. I love it. So now it's like, okay, so now it's going, it's blowing up, it's blowing up. It's like my, I left a marketing job to do the podcast more, which we yeah. do. I wanted to do it once a week. Yeah. And yeah. It, you know, that, that that's probably enough for us for now. Yeah. I did it. And now I'm sucked back into the marketing world, but I have a On good balance, terms, but I didn't expect for it to do. I like, let me just make enough here and make the yeah. income from the, the podcast. You're good at it. But now yeah. <laughs> I had two clients that just came to me out of nowhere. And we're like, hey, man, actually, I shouldn't say out of nowhere. So one started sponsoring the podcast. Mm -hmm. He told another client that we both know mm -hmm. that was already working with. Mm -hmm. And he was like, hey, I want to sponsor the podcast. And again, then it just, it snowballed. And so like we have more sponsors paying yeah. more for longer periods of time. That's dope. But now the marketing company is out there and I'm like, I can't get away from the marketing. You know, like yeah. I don't want to get away from the marketing, but it was, I, I had expected to just do like like be a boutique for just a few clients and then I could still, then I could really focus on this, but yeah. my focus is there with still the podcast kind of like in the back, but still, still growing. So what the idea that I'm going to share with you, it puts everything together in one place and it expands it a little bit. Yeah. So I'll share that with you later and, thank and, you, and tell you what's going on. Cause, uh, cause you know, we used, yeah. we, we got some similar things going on. No, but thank you for sharing that. Cause like I was, I was mentoring a young man the other day and one thing he asked me is like, basically should he go pursue his passion? Make a long story short. Yeah. Yes. And I, and the one thing I told him, I was like, "Look, man, a, a honeybee never gets punished for making honey." You know what I mean? So if you're gonna if you're going to pursue your passion, like in the form of like your purpose, mm -hmm. you're never gonna be punished for that. 
Yeah. Right. That was an accident that this thing blew up. Yeah. Right. Because part of your purpose is to spread yeah. ideas. I mean, there was, you know, there was also a reason that I named, you know, black belt. Yeah. Because you're going to be a black belt. I'm a brown belt. Well, I'm a brown belt in jujitsu. I'm yeah. a black belt in marketing. You're a purple uh, belt. You're a <laughs> purple belt that so, didn't quit. But, it, you know, it was, yeah. it was, I knew, I know what I got to make to make everything run, to live a life, yeah. to support my family. And I knew I had to offer more. For sure. Uh, so I'm doing that. I'm happy. Um, but it takes that. So going back to, you know, should somebody do a podcast? I've got that. Yeah. I've got that thing. But now I have that thing that I'm, I'm not working for somebody else. I have control over my time. Boom. Mm -hmm. I left, you know, I stopped in the middle of the day, 12 o'clock today, had lunch, wrote my outline for the show, got here an hour early. Yeah. Like, that's a beautiful, you know, thing to have. There, there's Happy a Friday. saying, don't so quit. So I'm controlling my time. Like, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I, look, as there's somebody who had a heart attack five years ago, <laughs> I'm at 48. I'm training jujitsu, which is tough on the body. Yeah. Like, controlling my time is is the most valuable thing that I think I have, you know, being in that room, being on the, in, in the hospital at that time, like yeah. that, you know, it changes you, you know? For sure. And that like, I've, Oh, I was from that moment. I was like, I got to be back. I'm, I got to get my time back. I'm not spending time with my family. I made a commitment to see my daughter more. Like I've just, you know, she's in Virginia. I wanted to come down more. I want to, you know, see her more, go there, come here. So this is, I've got my time back and I, and I'm learning how so, to still split that time up between like, okay, this is marketing time. This is podcast time. This is family time. I definitely what about like Drew time? Sundays open match, <laughs> <laughs> but again, oh yeah, so one more it. time, you going back to that guy game. that started in the podcast. Look, if you don't have, you can get lucky. I get it. You can get lucky, start from nothing. And you're, you put out a podcast that resonates but most podcasts don't get past the low teens. Yeah, it's like you know, 17, like I think. 14 or yeah. something, something like definitely under 20. Like most yeah. podcasts don't get past that. And there's a reason because people aren't hearing it. And, you know, the viral nature of the internet is only going to take you so far in the beginning. But if you do it the way you're doing, like you build up an audience and then you're giving them another one of your products. That's different. I didn't have that. I was yeah, just a jujitsu practitioner. It, I went the other way. So I had to say with dollars, get ads in front of people, give stuff away, give away t-shirts and say, Hey, look, yeah. I'm that like, Hey, look at me. Like I got something to bring to the table here. I have something that I think you think is cool. Yeah. You don't know me yet, but you will. Yeah. Cause you were providing yeah. value. That's the key. Mm -hmm. The right. Jewy model is, you know, he got very popular off of doing what he's doing. And then now providing he, could, value. he could do something and everyone's like, he Oh, was, did you see yeah. that new he thing? He was that reading doing? listener questions all the time. Yeah. Providing yeah. value. Yeah. That's, I really yeah, like that. That, about that it. should be number one, right? Some people yeah. miss that, right? They just want to get the followers and they just want to make the money. It's yeah. like you're not providing value for yeah. the community you're trying to build. So and it's easier anywhere. to provide value if you can stay afloat while you're building that audience that you're trying to provide value for to. Sure. Right. So that's why I say I'm not being harsh or shitting on anybody's dream, but if you're going to do it, you got to have a little bit of money or you got to have a big following. It's one or the other yeah. because it's definitely going to take, again, you could do it for a lot cheaper than we did from your computer. We decided to, again, because I had the funds and I'm not rich by any means, but I had the money to do it different. We said, let's do it like this. Yeah. Bo was sitting on a fucking table with that camera right there. How many podcasts go like this with a can't like go back and forth from the people speaking? Yeah. yeah. You don't see that. It's usually split screen, shot. right? Yeah. Static shots on the people. <laughs> Bo was on a conference room there. table. If I can, I, I Indian style, that. right? And going back and forth. I mean, it was, we did it differently from the beginning, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I and look, those. any, I've always, when I first started, I tried to like on Patreon, like be like, Hey, get a book an hour of, uh, of, uh, like our time to talk about podcasting. Like, and now I'm like, I'll just do it for free. Anybody wants to talk about podcasting. I'm not looking to make money off of it like that. Yeah. Like in the beginning it was like, let's make money any way we can mm -hmm. keep this afloat. Now, if somebody asks me, I'll give them whatever advice they want. I'll t I've given out lists of, I put them together with people, give them out the list of the, the equipment that we have. Yeah. Like here, here's the roadmap, mm -hmm. but don't do, it. <laughs> yeah. don't do it. Don't do it. This is the expensive tread, route. Tread, gotcha. tread carefully. So, yeah. yeah. That, that, or you, you, can, could, you can get paid for that, telling them not to do also, it. Also. Yeah, right. Give me 20 bucks and I'll tell you what not to do. There you go. There's don't a very popular it. book right now that, that is that. It's not a very thick book. It's like what not to do in business. Yeah. And, that's, uh. That's I, I was well, saying the other day. Who yeah. was I talking about? I wanted to. That's my. That's the title of my book. Yeah, yeah. You were talking about. Yeah, like, that I think one. I think <laughs> after you said that, like a couple of days later, like popped into my yeah. head, and I looked it up. There is a book. Yeah, that yeah. is like that. How not to run a business? I think yeah. is what I, what I said. Yeah, but you have I've done it. Insight. I've done it wrong before. I've done it yeah. wrong, and you know how not yeah. to do a heel hook. Yeah, right. 
Hey, listen, we're going to get into, so uh, we tried to get into this questions. before, and then we went back to, uh, we started talking about social media. So we're going to do our speed round questions. It's been okay. a long time since you, you answered these. Let's go. So let's see what's changed and new people that haven't heard us before. Let's do let's, it. Uh, let's do it. So let's gi or no gi? No gi. Come on. All right. Next question. Take down or pull guard? Take down. Take down. Unless you're, unless you're doing leg locks. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Who's your favorite competitor to watch? Hoffa Mendez. Next question. <laughs> he really wants a speed round. Hoffa. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you on the mats or in a competition? Uh, I was heel hooking a guy and his knee was literally ripping apart in my hand. I let it go and he had the nerve to look at the ref and say he didn't tap. And then I really? did it again to him. But not me and him. Did cool. he tap? He did. Oh, was, was that Tony? No. Oh. No, <laughs> nah, it was Tony. I said it. Tony, he it about. <laughs> Tony, he's outed you. If you could go back in time and talk to yourself before the very first time you stepped on the mat, you're a white, you're like you just tied on the white belt. What would you tell yourself? Stretch. Next question. <laughs> What else would you tell yourself? <laughs> Fucking stress. You really want to do the speed Focus round on version of this. All right. Focus on go. recovery because I could. There you go. All right. Listen, there focus on recovery because I will train my ass off. But when it comes to like putting ice on this thing that hurts or, you know, doing yoga or whatever, I it's yeah. hard to get me to do it. I work closely with a chiropractor and we were on a meeting today and he says, if you wait till if you start to feel something hurt, stop right there and fix it. Whether it's stretching at your desk, being at a computer, it's more about like being at a computer and stretching yeah. during the day. Be proactive. <laughs> if you let it get worse, it's going to get worse over time. Like it's going to get worse and worse every time it happens to you. So stop, stretch, walk around, take a minute. Again, more as he was talking about people working at desk, but it's the same thing, right? Right. Stop, recognize that you have a problem, ice it. Yeah. We'll, we'll see oh, listen, to your, listen to your girlfriend. Put a little yeah. Windex on it, that you works. know? Yeah. If not, you wind up walking into a podcast on one crutch. On one crutch. <laughs> or Arm around your girlfriend, one crutch. One like, crutch. Mm-mm-mm. She's still there to support me, though. You yeah. know, you see that? Literally. Get that Literally, you she's supporting you. Support. Support. All right. Do you have any regrets as it relates to your jiu-jitsu journey? The only regret I have in life is not wrestling in high school. Next question. Us. There you go. <laughs> Do you want to ask the last one? He knows what the last one is. Yeah. I don't watch my belt. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. You want to say, give any shout outs other well, than uh, Stephanie? Are we, are we going to do the You just the, fucking the went through nine yeah. questions no, real no, quick. No, I'm saying the, the viewer questions. I like oh, that yeah, one yeah. question no, that guy yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my yeah, bad, yeah. my bad. I didn't put him in. Ooh. Yeah, bro, no? come on. Hey, no, welcome to the Jiu-Jitsu Dummies podcast. I'm a dummy too, right? Yeah. But I just I remember this one because the, the yeah, guy because he sent it to He messaged me personally. I saw that one. He was like, where did you send it to? And. I and even, I was the right person to ask that question. I forgot Milton's password to his account, so I couldn't verify the question. Yeah, no, and maybe he that? changed it on you. <laughs> he, he went on to, like, big reality. To, you know, when you open up a, a gym, that's, uh, to me. I, I, know what, I'm, I know where that question is. I'm just going to look to see if we got any other questions in the meantime. Yeah. I, I, did, I did put it out late. So. There's something that I noticed, like, you know, when with, with, with almost all of our guests that are gym owners. Right or and and or professors, yeah. Um, that having that does something to their mind, like to the way they look at life. Not just it's an amazing like it's sport. Not, no, no, no. It's not just a sport, but having the gym. It it it's such a different perspective from other businesses. Yeah, you're a but leader of a sacred something. space. No, but it, yeah, yeah, kind of because like that. you have, in most cases, That's invested ten years. Fuck, you really said it to good, get that. buddy. <laughs> the thing, that this is the thing: perfect. is most gym, most gym owners, not all, most gym owners, That's at least ten is. years before they're going to get that black belt. Most, in most cases, yeah, so exactly. you've invested ten years into a business or a discipline that you're about to teach other people. So it's that much more fulfilling. You've just spent no, 10 years yeah, of your he, life doing it part time or whatever. What he said was more, it's more spiritual. It's more spiritual because it's, it's, it's like a change in your spiritual vibration or your, your paradigm. It's not just, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's not just thought based. It's not like just value based. Yeah. It's, you're, you're a leader of a sacred space That's, and you, you understand it because you see, you see a, a bunch of different things happening at, at, at once and you you just got to kind of guide people like you're like you're just holding space yeah it's 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 yeah. it's very different from other businesses i it bet really is. i could only gander it's very much the same but there's huge differences yeah 
I, I could only gander, but I'm sure now that you are a, a gym owner, you have like aha moments of when you weren't a gym owner and you saw a gym owner behave a certain way and you oh. probably didn't understand it. And now <laughs> you're like, just the, quietly, I bet you have like these aha moments. Yeah. One of the funniest iterations of that is my coach, AJ Souza. He, he never used to like teaching fundamentals. I didn't understand that coming up. He's like, yo, I fucking hate fundamentals. But now it's like, I would rather you go to one of the classes that my purple belts are teaching and go learn fundamentals from them. I want to teach you heel hooks. I want to teach you the straight jacket system on the back. I want to teach you all of this cool stuff. I don't want to show you how to escape hips. I don't want to show you how not to get trapped inside control. I don't teach you none of that shit. I don't want to teach you how to roll. I don't want to like, you know, do front rolls and nothing. I don't want to teach you none of that. I want to teach you heel hooks. Go that's, learn the fundamentals okay. from purple belts. But I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, there's gonna there's a uh-huh. point. But there's, that a, there's a point you can't do everything. Like, that's almost like you know, you're an owner of something, you're the accountant, you're the bookkeeper, you know, you're the, marketer, the, the, you're the, yeah. the marketer, you're the, the janitor, you know, you have to delegate something. And, yeah. and but, that's, as a, a gym owner and a professor, that's the easiest part to delegate. But it's not something that, like, I thought of, right? I just, yeah. one day I was just like, I don't want to fucking teach these people how to escape their hips. <laughs> now you understand. Yeah. I yeah. was like, I just want to teach it's you guys a, how to okay. do Nobody wants to learn it, so. Yeah, but I mean, it gets kind of <laughs> I, I think, I mean, I think, uh, I that, see, that's the part that I that I enjoy, but I'm not a coach, a full time coach. But I do enjoy grabbing somebody that I know is like newer. Again, especially yeah. if they're a heavier guys, so that we match up well. And I say, I'm like big guy. I'm always like, hey, big guy, come here. And then like everybody might be rolling or doing something. I'm like, okay, he just showed you three versions of a move. We're just gonna work on the first one. Yeah. So come on. And that's why I, I enjoy that. And that's, I love that. Again, that's the you know that's the the idea on the napkin, right? It's helping sure. somebody get to that next step. I, I that fulfills me. And, 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 that, and especially when it relates to jujitsu. And that's, that's why it's important, like, as a leader to recognize that stuff. Yeah. So me as the black belt, I said, okay, this guy likes this thing and he's yeah. a beginner. And you know what? I'm going to send him to Milton. Yeah. Right. Or one thing that, like, I, I'm, I, I'm not above my own bullshit, right? Like, I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not. But I also understand that there are some, like, like Desi, for example, he's one of my purple belts. He's really good at dart strokes. I never, I don't like dart strokes. My arms are too short. Right. So somebody wants to learn a dart, go to Desi. Yeah. And he'll do that same thing that you're talking about. Yeah. Right now. So as a leader, you have to do stuff. Like you have to delegate. He'll go, Milton. Yeah. He like, especially if they're my size, he'll be like, Milton, you got a delivery from Amazon prime. (laughs) Don't break them. And then, and then I know like, okay, brand new guy, my size. Yeah. Teach him some stuff, you know, get him him the basics. But you know, we, when we have a consistent, which we do now, like when we have a consistent assistant coach, now that assistant coach will usually work with the, the like the, the newer guy. So it's like really like okay, that that guy is here for his first day. Like even if he's a big guy, like they'll that that coach will work with them or stand over them while they're working with somebody to help them. Yeah, because it's hard to have a fundamentals class. You could potentially have just right, and if you don't have coaches, it's hard to start a fundamentals class and then an advanced class and then you're gonna have a comp class and then well, you just gi no gi stand you know and then. Actually, we our our schedules we're 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 adding a bunch of classes to our schedule in uh, April. Okay, and I'm blessed with coaches. Yeah, right. That will teach those. I mean, granted, I am going to teach a fundamentals class once a week. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I am going to do it. You know, but you should call we're, it we're, not not so fundamentals. Not so fundamentals. <laughs> hey, I like that. That's going on the schedule. Devin, you're. You, I'm curious. When you started your gym, did yeah. you? Were you doing anything else? Like, was there any other way you make money? Like, you went right into the gym? Or yeah, did so you have I another had, job? Like, where did you come from? Like, I had the marketing company. What did you have? So, I was, I spent years um, working in kids' programs. Okay. Right? So, like, uh, inner city kids and, like, different programs that I, that I ran. I ran one in Sistrunk. And then I went up to Delray and did one up there, too. And there was a point where it was like, all right, I'm making six figures right now doing this, but I'm capped right here. And I don't really like it like that, like, because there's so much like bureaucracy when you work for people. Yeah. Right. So it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do? And then uh, there was an opportunity, right? Like, I, like, there was an opportunity for me to start my own school. And once I started the school, I was like, why am I working here? I'd rather just go full on into the gym and take a risk and go for that. And I did it. And that's what I've been was doing. Was it hard in the beginning? Huh? Was it hard in the beginning? Of course. Yeah. Did you have 
Yeah, oh shit moments Pluto. like fuck. <laughs> hey, you know the income went down, yeah. responsibilities yeah, yeah. went up, right? Yeah, but you get that canceled like oh fuck, somebody just canceled. Damn, yeah, you know. Mm. Oh, I got yeah. twenty students. I got fifty. And oh shit, two canceled. Yeah, damn, fuck. You know, <laughs> but it's all good. Yeah, yeah, because you know you 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 end up getting more students. You earned it. Yeah, yeah, and, they, then, and, and then you part get of the business. It's, they're gonna come. They're gonna go. Yeah, and if if they come and they're part of their they they cohesive with the tribe, yeah, they're gonna stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And that's what I want. I want people that come in with the tribe mentality, like they are going to be part of the tribe. Yeah. They're going to end up staying. And if they're not a part of the tribe, they're going to end up weeding themselves out yeah. and they're going to bounce. Yeah. And good. Get you're, out you're focusing on good people. And then once you have that, then then you you have good students. Yeah. Yeah. They def- we both. I feel he's got, an, I feel he's got an awesome vibe. Yeah. There. Again, it, for me, it's because it's so reminiscent of that. And, and you could. And it's like not a soft it. vibe. But it's a good vibe. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like uh, Thirteen Warriors when Antonio Banderas didn't know the language at the beginning <laughs> of the movie, and then he it's did the most towards the end. I know <laughs> around I the that fire. movie a lot. I know. I if know you do jujitsu, yeah. you watch Thirteen Warriors. Yes, I know. I, this I is a jujitsu podcast. All right. If you don't watch it, watch it. So we got a couple yeah. of questions for you. You might this get a strike is, uh, from Mikhail Gampon. I don't know. What, uh, Let's go, Mikhail. If that's uh, what uh, Gampon. I don't know. It's kind of like my name. Uh, I'm going to start. Okay, cool. he, he's saying hello to the head's question for you. All right. So. so how important is it to you and or the jujitsu culture and community to teach new and seasoned jujitsu students about the so-called unspoken rules of jujitsu? For example, a lower belt asking a higher rank student to spar. Um, well, that, that, that's question number one. How do you feel about that part of the culture? Do you think it's important? No. Okay. Okay. Comma. Right. So those rules, right? Most of them are stupid. Like if a lower belt asks me to roll, I feel honored, right? Mm-hmm. I feel honored. Like, oh, he wants to roll with me. Like he thinks he's cool. And like he, and it's not like they're like, oh, like I'm going to kick the professor's ass. Like that's not yeah. happening. Right. Nor do they come with that, that, that attitude. Right. They come with like an excitement, like, oh, professor, can I roll with you? Right. Yeah. Okay. But I can't. The, when I came up in jujitsu, right, it was disrespectful to ask a higher belt to roll. That never made sense to me. Another one that doesn't make sense to me. One of those rules is like uh, facing your back towards the professor when you have to tie your belt. Never heard of that. As something you're supposed to do. As something you should be to facing do. away. You yeah. should be facing away yeah. from the professor when you're tying your belt. Right. That is retarded to me. Oh shit! I'm not supposed to say that. That's stupid to me. It's not going to get yeah. bleeped out. You can say shit, Fuck. but you can't oh. say retarded. That's stupid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, now we're going to get that, canceled. That, there goes my following. You're gonna get that, canceled. that rule has an extra 31st no. chromosome. Yes. <laughs> it's weird because to me, right? But it's, it's funny because um, I have a female black belt who teaches all the geek classes, right? Juliana, Juliana Jitsu. Uh, she's great. Right? But she... She's teaching the gi class, which is more traditional. And it's funny because they called her the anti-Drew, right? Because me, uh, I'm, you know, you oh, can see like, me. Like Wario of huh? like you? I don't say Wario. Like. <laughs> she's like the, the, the anti- Is she super strict about it or she's just she's like, not she, super she's strict, teaching but, them but those things, did, but not strict about it? I mean, or? like she, she does like traditional warm-ups. She's, she's gi yeah. central. Okay. Right. She, she does like traditional. Like she has them roll, run and roll and do all that. Me, I'm like, all right, we're gonna if we're doing back stuff, we're gonna we're gonna warm up by jumping on the back and do hand fighting, mm-hmm. right? Like I, I warm up with jujitsu. I don't do any That's of those that other train the way you fight mentality, right there. Yeah, I mean, it's just well, I don't the, like the warm ups are a little bit more about you warming up the body, stretching. Don't get hurt. I just do it. In, I just yeah, do it yeah. with jujitsu. She yeah, does yeah. it more traditional, right? Yeah. 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 So it's not. It's so it's just so like I said, like they the guys just made a, a joke saying that she was the anti Drew. Right. She doesn't cuss on the mats. Right. Yeah. Cuss on the mats all the time. Right. So I bring this up because one day somebody was tying their belts facing her and she was like, listen, like, I don't really enforce this that much. But if you go to another school, just understand, like, you can't do that. Yeah. And it, it just brought it to my attention because I don't I don't do that to my students. Like, I don't tell them to do that because I think it's stupid. Right. If you turn your back to me, to me, that's more disrespectful than you tying your belt in front of me. Yeah. Right. So it's just one of those things that just don't make any sense. So a lot of those rules, they absolutely don't make sense at all. Right. But it's funny that that was the question, because one of the reels I did, one of the first reel to get over 100,000 was one. You know that song of somebody that you used to know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, I hate that dun, song. Thanks for putting that back that in my song. head. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Well, there was a trend. Right. So if you're trying to build. Gautier, a social... Gautier, right? There Gautier sure was. Yeah. 
there's a trend where you hear that bum, 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 and you're supposed to move your eyes. Mm-hmm. So my caption was, my, my title was, uh, when, a, when a lower belt asks a black belt to roll. So it was like, dun, 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 right, I was sizing yeah. them up. Right. And then at the end of the video, I put read the caption because it's like, I don't do that to yeah, people, yeah. but I was like, yeah. read the caption. This is an outdated tradition. Should we still be fo- following it? Right. But that's the thing about social media, right? People saw that and they want to get pissed off and come like and they comment, and they comment. I think, I think there was like really bad disciplinary problems back in the day when the sport started. Maybe. No, I, well, I just think it was the, the traditional model from Japan. Remember, you know, judo to, yeah. to jujitsu. And that's what I'm saying, man. It's man. just, you know, the traditional stuff. Motherfuckers side. didn't listen back then. Yeah. So, look, so to answer <laughs> his question, right? Should coaches <laughs> tell their students about these unwritten rules? Yes. I, I, I agree. They should tell them about it. Yeah. Now, whether or not you want to enforce them, that's on you. Those yeah. aren't being enforced. The only one I really like enforce, and I do it very jokingly, is like if I'm rolling and I roll into like a lower belt. Yeah, right? no, so, no, I like that rule. So like let's say I'm rolling with let's say I'm rolling with Milton and you're you're over here rolling yeah, with with about. the white belt, right? I'm gonna bump into you and I'm like, I know hey. black black plus brown equals get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Hey, can I, I so I thought at the beginning that was a stupid rule and a rule I have for myself <laughs> is that when I think uh really in one extreme of anything, I question why I immediately jump to that extreme. Yeah. And I thought about that and what I feel that it does is it teaches awareness to the lower belts because you have to have mad awareness in a gym space, especially when people are doing, uh, you know, like a long leg pass or something like that. You got to be wary of where your heel is going to be. And you do notice that in the higher belts, they're always kind of like rolling. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, oh, it's a packed house today. Mm-hmm. And they look around way more when the white belt's just like, bah. So yeah, you, yeah. we I, had that happen the other night. So yeah, I, I thought about, and I don't know if this is a thing, but like to me, the way I justify that rule and why I like it is because it teaches awareness to those two lower belts. Yeah. To yeah. Be, okay. To be. I, do Do you guys say oh? Do you, is like your school like oh? It's like you say something oh? Does anybody? I say we say, we say that shit just playing oh. around. Yeah. We're like, wait, what do we say? Hold up. Something that they said that they say instead of ooze. Oh. <laughs> so in Juliana's class, <laughs> that's he's such a dick. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana said oos, and Desi was like, we don't oos around here. We, woo! <laughs> <laughs> like Ric Flair? <laughs> so, you want to know something? But When I went to the gym that I'm in now, when I went to Felipe's, nobody said oos. Like, when he said something and was waiting for a response, like, people would just be like, yeah, you know, like, agree, like, in yeah. a regular conversation. And I'd be like, and I I feel like I'm responsible for the oos in that, that school. Yeah. And uh, it, like, the less I'm there, I see really, that. Dude, like, that's your claim. We lined up, right and he says something, and it, like it's like us, you know. Oof. Or when we bow, when we bow, especially yeah. we would bow, and I would say us, and I would notice that I was the only one saying it. But the more I said it, the more people kind of follow. Can suit. I? Can I? Way can back I, in the can day, can I have my humble brag? What's the? My humble brag is I'm always the loudest break faller. Like <laughs> I always. I do like that when, when I, I roll. When I roll, I slap them out. No, but yeah, like you know, no. like any yeah. any time there's a break fall, is I. I will always like you if, go in a drill yeah. with your partner and you break fall. If, <laughs> if you if I hear you break falling louder than me, you're gonna break. It fall. is a competition at that. <laughs> <laughs> point. Now, I, I do believe I like I like some of the traditional stuff. Again, I think that you need to know it. Um, I think it's, it's great for the know. kids. I think it's good for the kids' classes. Like bowing before really, you get on off the mat. That's a yes. good one. Okay, that's a great yeah. one. That's a great that's a good one. one. Um, I won't get into like the sand, like the you know wearing sandals and stuff like that, but. I do agree with, but those are the important rules. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. I'm t- well, as far he's, as his question, he's voiced the this, sandals thing on yeah, this thing. I'm just a saying, lot. like, I do like yeah. the os. I do, not all the time, but I will notice, like, especially if I get to class, people are starting to line up. I don't just get into line and tie my belt in the line. I'll stand off to the side, usually look away, and and I'll tie it. Not all the time, but yeah. I catch myself doing it, and sometimes I feel like because I'm usually one of the higher belts there. You know, it's like a handful of black belts, brown, and then it's purple and below. Yeah. So I feel like it's also my responsibility to kind of, you know, help show that stuff. There should be, you know, Felipe's still, you know, old school. He's not a super enforcer of it, but yeah. I know I could see sometimes when he's getting frustrated with something where if there was a little bit more discipline, even amongst the adults, like he's definitely not, you know, he likes to joke, but you shouldn't be joking. Yeah. Like just because the teacher's joking doesn't mean like, you're right, you're, when you were a kid in class, the teacher says a joke. And then the whole class starts to you know mess around. No, I'm gonna joke. I'm the teacher. I'm the leader. I'm the head of this, you know, this group. 
I'm going to joke, but doesn't mean that all of a sudden everybody like he, if you're rolling and you're talking, you, you hear, you'll hear him. Hey, save it for Facebook. Let's roll. We're here to train. Yeah. You know, like you got to reel them in sometimes, yeah. right? You as yeah. a, I mean, and I mean, we're talking about adults, case, adult kids leader, and adults. Yeah. As a leader, sometimes you have to reel people in, right? Yeah. Sometimes like with me, for example, one thing that I run into sometimes is that people get too comfortable and I got to remind them I'm professor, right? Yeah. Professor Drew, coach Drew, I'm yeah. not your homie. Yeah. When I'm on these mats. Do you prefer a professor or coach? I like I like professor because it's, like it's, it's different. Earned. Yeah. Like yeah. It's it's earned, right? And I, I like that because it's one thing that I that somebody told me when I was a blue belt. He was like earning a black belt in jujitsu is equivalent to earning a PhD. Mm. Right. And it's true. It costs just as much. It costs just as much. You, you, you spent forty that's a that's I, a I'm dirty not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I would, you know, I hope that one day I have my black belt and I wanna be out somewhere and see a student or Somebody call me professor, mm -hmm. and somebody be like, "Oh, what are you a professor of?" You like jujitsu? Yeah, professor you know? do jujitsu. Professor of jujitsu. Yeah, I like that. I like professor. <laughs> That's right, what, professor. Again, yeah, I think I, I, I will have earned it, it at that point. If somebody asks you that, you immediately get on your back on the ground. He's like, "Come here." Bro. Yeah, come into my world. Come into my world. So, so his uh, Mikhail's so, question was, you know, there, there mm -hmm. were some very specific examples of, you know, tying your belt. We talked about that shaking, uh, shaking hands. Do you expect every student to come to you and shake your hand at the beginning of class? You know, a lot of that's an old school. Like when you when you when, when you, you show up, you mat. get on the mat, you bow, you go and shake all of the black. Like your professor should be first, and then you shake the hands of all the higher belts. Yeah, you should you should go find. I think that that's good. Like you go and you find the black belt. Like I don't like when, but you see, it's an open mat, right? And it's no gi. Mm -hmm. But it's like if you step on my mat, it's like come come say what's up, yeah. right? But a lot of times you don't know who I am, so I go and I and I approach you. Yeah, right, but. You know, certain certain things like that. Like you come in my house, like you greet me. Don't That's just exactly kick my dog and go make say. yourself a sandwich. Yeah. 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 You know, so it's yeah. like little things like that. It's like more like like respect, like a mutual respect thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah, listen, I I I'm a fan of the traditional stuff. Um, I don't I don't think that you're it's a measure of how great your school is if you're more traditional than another. It definitely There's is. There's a lot of flavors. And that's yeah. why every any Reddit post, if you go to like r forward slash BJJ and there's anybody that ever asks advice, the first piece of advice everybody gives, and I suggest you do it, is go to multiple gyms, do the free trial at multiple gyms, yeah. and then figure it out. Yeah, what, what vibe you like. Yeah, there's that. different yeah. vibes. If you yeah, want to wear Spanx 24-7, <laughs> then you go, go to, to that. Planet. Yeah, go to 10th Planet. Go to yeah. Yeah. Go to yeah. If you want to, yeah. Or you want to wear a hoodie? No, yeah, if you want to wear a go hoodie, to go, to, go, to, go up to, where is it? Where, where is it? It's In it's, Canada? Yeah, it's, in, it's I, listen, I don't want to say the word. It's an island off the coast of Nova Scotia. Yes. Yeah, you got to cross a bridge. Yes. To get and to if that. you want to train hard, talk shit, and have fun, come to my yeah. gym. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get all of that. Because like, yeah. you can't be in my gym with, with unless you got tough skin. Like, I'm sorry. Like, mm -hmm. there's been people that's been weeded out because they're just too sensitive. Yeah, I knew a guy that that's too sen out. Wait, too sensitive, in what, too sensitive or too soft to train hard. I don't know, like, like what sensitive, you mean, like when it comes to the shit talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah that's no. Yeah, like I'm get, all about that. Yeah, yeah I'm about yeah. it too. My mom's that's, off limits. Like if you can't, <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> she wasn't last night. Hey, yeah. <laughs> that's a. I was talking about this with a friend. That is a true measure. You know, like how how girls will have a relationship and like they'll share information and then they know that they're friends based off of the certain amount of information that they share with each other, like how close it is to them. Well, I think we're dudes. That one is is like as soon as you know you can make fun of their mother, like you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. now a better. I thought you were going to go so, into the Ezekiel skit. Ezekiel, that's <laughs> no. so. Fuck you! <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, being able to make fun of your each other's mother. <laughs> yeah, that Dude. is the next level. Four o'clock in the morning. New York. Let's get off a of mother's boat. Friday <laughs> night. Well, it's a, fr it's I, a Friday night. Last time I night. heard that, I fell off my diet. We're in the diner, 4 a.m., 12 of us, 10 of us, 14 of us. We're, we're having the burgers, halfway into the burgers, the mother jokes start. And mm -hmm. then it's like a 20-minute session Did of rather a, loud a mother jokes, joke? too. We're making everybody in the diner laugh. You know? Yeah. yeah. I don't do that anymore. Dude, it was Why awesome. Why not? All right. We're going to wrap up. We got to wrap up. Okay. Wrap it up. I always Stephanie, wrap up Stephanie wants to, 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 to go home. I would definitely do that again. <laughs> and let me or tell you, you Stephanie goes home. When I, when I tell her to go home. Oh, yeah? Wow. <laughs>
That, really? Maybe I was just playing. Okay. That would be, <laughs> if you can see her face right now, that would be single heel hook me. The best. I'm gonna say it after the show because I think it's a more behind great, the scenes. No, 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 because no, it's a great. It's a secret of show today. It's a great idea. <laughs> secret of ass show. Hey, can you? Hey, can, you're the editing. So look, we got all these secret you like this ideas. Going top on secret today. folder before the show right, starts. Listen, listen, yeah, let's go. We're, we're running super long. <laughs> it's gonna take forever, but for Bo to get this episode done. <laughs> We're at 220. We got a shout. We got no, to do we're our not. housekeeping. Oh, we're at 220. Yeah, 228. So we do housekeeping? Housekeeping. All right. Shout out to, <laughs> <laughs> to our Patreon podcast patrons, including gym sponsors, Carlson Gracie, Carlson Gracie Winter Haven in Winter Haven, Florida, cgwinterhaven.com, at Carlson Gracie underscore Winter Haven on IG. Also, our friend Big J over at Carlson Gracie Broward County in North Lauderdale. Carlson Gracie Broward County.com at Carlson Gracie Broward County. John Way Martial Arts in Plantation, Florida. John Way Martial Arts.com and John Way Martial Arts on IG. John Way. Our individual podcast patrons include Jer- cool. Jeremiah Berra, oh, so Robert Walker, so Frank House, Boa Athletics. Boa. B O A underscore athletics on IG. Jason Smiley, CJ Carroll, Mission 22. Let's go. Veteran. Let's go. 22 push ups. Chuck Reddor, Roberto nice. Santiago. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, visit patreon.com. You get a shout out just like that. Patreon.com forward slash jujitsu dummies. Join and you're automatically entered to win up to $100 in jujitsu swag every single month. All right. At jujitsu dummies for all the ways to watch, listen, and support. You want to give any shout outs? You want to say hello to anybody? Oh, shout out to, I got sponsors too, homie. Yeah. Yeah. Fightback CBD. Right. They sent me some some uh, cool stuff. And then a whole fast fighter. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then my gym. Look at how proud he is. He's like, last time when I actually got any sponsors, he's like, no, but I could use some. He looked right at the camera. He's like, but I'm available. All of us here at the Jiu-Jitsu Dummies would like to thank the entire crew over at Flow and Roll for their tremendous support. They're renowned for their incredible t-shirt designs, and they've got something for everyone. Flow and Roll quickly rose up to become the premier custom apparel provider for academies, big or small, throughout the United States. Shoot them an email about your custom order, flowenroll at gmail.com, and they'll be more than happy to get you hooked up. Check them out on Instagram at flow underscore n underscore roll for samples of their gi and no gi kits. They conveniently offer flexible payment options too. Head over to flowenroll.com for more details, and while you're there, pick up a Jujitsu Dummy signature tee, now exclusively at flowenroll.com. And remember, you'll get 20% off your online purchase of t shirts, rash guards, or gis with code. JJD. Special thanks to George Hernandez, Claims Adjuster. If you experience damage in your residential or commercial property in the states of Florida or Texas from flood or fire, storms, theft and vandalism, even sinkholes, just to name a few, don't get stressed out dealing with your insurance provider. Call George Hernandez today and let the professionals get you the most compensation possible. Visit HernandezClaims.com or call 305-712-6751 to get help now. And stay in touch with them on Instagram at HernandezClaims. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> now he's taken. Look at yeah, him. He's all giddy. It, he's like, I got sponsors. Taken. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, hold fast. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. Go ahead. Who else? Hold fast and fight back CBD. And then shout out to my gym, man. Shout out to all my members like you guys. Tell them where it is again. Oh, at a and BJJ in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Nice. Attached to the extreme cool, action park. Attached to the extreme action park. You can't park. miss it. If you're in Florida, you drive down I-95. Yeah. Going to uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, know, you know it. And if no you know more, where uh, Costco is. No more doing. Oh, it's a BJ's, right? There's a BJ's. And, sh- BJ's. and shout out. Who oh, else yeah. you want to shout see, out? See, I was getting there. Shout out to, to, to my amazing girlfriend right there. Stephanie. What? At Steph's Girls. Go follow her. But don't the, be saying no stupid shit. Brain. You know, I own a jujitsu school. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Anybody got anything else? Me? Oh yeah, give you. A, I, I love. I, tell me your handle. It's. Uh, tell me your sponsors. It's JJD <laughs> underscore DJJ sixty nine. Okay. That's what he's sponsored by OnlyFans. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, laughs> I'm not. Hold on, you got OnlyFans? Yes. It's just for you. It's, it's you actually. Know, no, so on, I, I started. I bought. A, I, no, 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 I bought a three D printer. OnlyFans. And all I do is print different forms of fans, like hand fans or <laughs> you know Dyson type fans. <laughs> it's only fans. It's all I. It's ventilation. <laughs> The weirdest references. That's why I love having him here. He's, He's got the weirdest fucking references. <laughs> hey. and they, but see that I see that already being on TikTok. I get That's paid. Gonna... I get. Hey, I get. You guys are talking about your hardships. Uh, I give up. I give up the best day in my gym to be here. Today's oh, the yeah? best. Today oh, it's, Thank it's, you, man. it's no gi open mat. 
What do you, oh. what do you drink? Henzo Gracie Weston. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, um, and yeah, I met, and, but, but I Alan. Get, um, bro, Alan is there. Brown boat. Yeah, but Adrian is Adrian is a gym owner. He's a gym owner? Is he a black belt? Yet? He's not. He's a brown belt still. Yeah, Adrian's my belt yeah, too. Yeah, Stan. Adrian's awesome, man. We could change the day. Huh? We could change the day. What do you mean change? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Thursday's already <laughs> fucked, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this is, let's, not, let's not switch it up because I, I got... I'm glad the, you the said that because right we change. have a couple of podcasts where the guests need to be start later. So I'll, I've tagged you. My, I've thurs, my you. Thursday, My Thursdays okay, are all good. yours. I, I, all right. I want this to blow up too so I could be here bro, all Bro, hit him with your, your IG. At bad work, B A D W E R K S. I'm at Uncle Milty E J J on Instagram, at and Drew check Phoenix. out our TikTok at Jujitsu Dummies Podcast. Your at give Drew me your Phoenix. TikTok, yeah, give me both. At Drew your, Phoenix, on both, yeah. on both. Oh, Drew underscore Phoenix on. Uh, uh, see, I knew there was something. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. on mm-hmm. IG. Uh-huh. Seven, you got to coach Drew him a little Phoenix. bit better. I don't know what you've been doing, but on direct Jesus. reflection of my leadership. Maybe, yeah. Some people are you not need, coachable. Ma- I think maybe you should walk around oh. with like a cue card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Right? So you got to walk around with a cue next time, like come with a, a, a board with the, his IG and the stuff. You know how many she's gonna learn. You. They start with she's the gonna learn Q, you. Jimmy. Yeah, Just yeah, have yeah, a teleprompter. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you know, you I'm super happy Listen, for you. Thank I'm you. telling you now. I said it yes, before. Sir. I'm gonna say it again, so it's documented. Uh-huh. You are always welcome whenever you want to come on. Whether we're having a look, we shoot every Thursday at seven, maybe uh-huh. a little later. You want to? Hey, Mel, I want to get get on the podcast tonight. If we have a guest, I'll let you know. I'll add you to the invite. You tell me the dates, and if you want to come on and bring, you said you know you got some friends that you mentioned. We talked about Ruben, talked about Mello. Man, I want to bring Mello on here because that's going to be the Mello, most hilarious. We are podcast we, we're like you... booked out. Like, <laughs> yeah. look, we're booked out like two months. Yeah, we're like so Nobu. Like, we're it's... like two months. So you have to tell me in advance, like you did. Right. Tell me in advance. We'll put it on the schedule. We got to. We... Hey, can we can we you send gotta an tell them. to Mello if he's brave enough to come go on? Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, you guys. Oh yeah, no, no. I listen. I, I talk I, enough I, shit to that dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. He knows. He's yeah, scared. Look, I, I'm. I'll open be, up a chat. Look, have to be look, oh, well, actually, or, I'm gonna no. do it this way because I pay somebody to do it now. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna put it together with Britt. Yeah. And they'll work it out. But I'm gonna put a chat together with the three of you, so she'll work out the dates. That's good. And you guys figure it out, and we'll just put it on the schedule. You know, but no, it's. You know, if uh, if we knew, like, we, every once in a while we're going to have a last-minute cancel, but I know, like, you probably have to schedule it, right? He's coaching, yeah. he's teaching. Pinch hitting. And so we gotta, if we give you enough time, we're giving you two months to work out to get coaches yeah, get to, to, to take your classes on a Thursday and get here. Yeah. All right, so that's what we'll do. Tell them get All right, good enough? Yeah. All right, thank you for coming on again, bro. Thank hey. you. Thank you for having me. Take care, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Peace, love, jujitsu. Let's go. Let's go. Woo!